Welcome to The Good Life. This is a simulation RPG game where you play as a New Yorker called Naomi who has a debt problem and she has come to this town in order to pay off her debt and in order to do that she takes to photography. This game has lots of different elements to it so I was really like curious about it and really wanted to try it out. We've got farming in this game, there's cooking, you can customize your house and your clothing and your character and there are RPG elements to it as well because there's a sort of mystery in the town like and Naomi has to figure that one out. You can also play as a dog or a cat. Yeah it's kind of weird. <laughs> So it's gonna be a really interesting game. There are lots of different things merged into one with this game. So I think it's gonna be quite interesting for sure. So let's hit new game and we shall see what happens. This game isn't out yet, it releases on the 15th of October. In case you were wondering and also coming day one to Game Pass as well. And that's definitely what I hope to be playing it on. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm super excited. I've been really looking forward to this game and I've been keeping my eye on it for a little while. So I'm so excited that I get to try it. One day, by a stroke of luck, a poor orphan named Dick Whittington found himself a cat. The two became close and the cat proved very useful, working awfully hard for him. Before long, Whittington came to treasure the cat as an irreplaceable ally. And, sure enough, after he offered the cat to a merchant ship, Whittington suddenly acquired a massive fortune. This changed Whittington's life forever. But Whittington didn't simply use that fortune for his own benefit. He paid it back to the many people who had helped him over the years. Such philanthropy, coupled with his honest character, led him to marrying a wonderful wife. In time, he was even elected Lord Mayor of London. This is the story of Dick Whittington and his cat, one every good Brit knows well. However, Whatever happened to the cat once it had brought good old Whittington all his copper and joy, you ask? Well, nobody seems to know. Not even Dick Whittington himself. I'm not quite sure what that was about, but okay. I mean, I know there are like stuff with cats and dogs in this game, so I suppose we'll see. But yeah, I think this is the prologue for the game and the town is called Rainy Woods. So I'm excited, it should be really fun. Okay, this must be Naomi on her, you know, trek to moving into the rainy woods. So this is gonna be really cool. Are oh, there sheep in there? You can actually ride on sheep in this game. <laughs> I don't know why that excites me, but it does. <laughs> so I am definitely looking forward to that. It looks a little bit grainy. I'm not sure why. I'm playing this on the Xbox Series X, but maybe it's just because it's a kind of early build of the game. So it could be because of that. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, it looks much better now, so that's good. I guess it was just the opening part. Oh yes, I'm looking forward to learning more about the townspeople well, as well. Well, this is it, Rainy Woods. The way you'd want to come here. They used to call it the happiest town in the world, but that was over 30 years ago. Now I hear it's just fallen to bits and full of weirdos. If I sightseeing you're after, you'd be better off heading somewhere like Windermere or Grassmere. <laughs> to eat your own, I suppose. Enjoy your holiday then! What a goddamn hellhole. This is Naomi Haywood. A photographer from New York. Now, 
Why would someone like Naomi come to this far-flung corner of England? Because of all the interesting things to photograph, of course. That's the official line, anyway. Her true reasons lie elsewhere. A certain client has asked Naomi to investigate a secret. And she's hoping this job will help her escape a colossal mountain of debt. Who is this client? Well, that'll become clear soon enough. Let's just see what happens next, shall we? Well then, are you ready? Ah! Don't they have pest control around here? You got any idea how much these sunglasses cost? Goddamn hellhole! That is unlucky. <laughs> I wonder if they toned down Naomi slightly. In the trailers, she was like swearing and everything. Welcome to Rainy Woods. This is the happiest town in the world. We're delighted to have you here. I love the way the eyes look. I don't know why. Okay, so it seems to be partially voice acted. Doesn't seem like the entire thing is voice acted, but that's okay. I'm loving the aesthetics of this so far i love the way the greenery just like crawls down the side of the pub there it definitely looks like a really old style pub and the whole village looks really like ancient and old and just feels really rough rustic and i love that so this is going to be really interesting to explore it's a pleasure to meet you miss hayward i'm elizabeth dickings i've been waiting for you ever since i received word that you would be arriving in our town today the master manipulators strike again. I beg your pardon? I wasn't talking to you, girl. G girl Anyway, girl, you know where I can find a place to stay around here? Somewhere that's got a clean tub, Wi-Fi, and room service. She's asking for a lot in such a, you know, town that's like stuck in the boonies. <laughs> Don't you worry, Miss Hayward. I've got your house all sorted for you. That's awesome. My house? That's right. No room surface, I'm afraid, but it does have a lovely garden. Imagine that, you get like a free house, like... <laughs> I don't think you could ask for anything more than that, right? You can use the internet there too. Hey, if you think you can rip me off, you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh my. <laughs> See, she's got an attitude, but it does look like they've toned her down because in the trailers she was like swearing and effing and blinding. So it looks like they have toned her down a little bit, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Rip you off? Oh, you're a funny one, Mrs. Hayward. That house is a gift to you from our town. A gift? Yes, a gift. As if a town would just give like a whole house. <laughs> just what are you scheming, huh? I would have the exact same response, honestly. <laughs> scheming? Why nothing at all, of course. But it doesn't make any sense. Why would you give a free house to someone you don't even know? Exactly. It does seem weird. This is Rainy Woods, the happiest town in the world. We welcome everyone who comes to visit us here. What's more, I heard you'll be staying with us for quite some time. In which case, it's only proper that you get your own house to rest at night now, isn't it? Does seem very suspicious, don't you think? <laughs> but still... Oh, that's right. I've already had your belongings collected from the town hall and delivered it to the house. How about heading there now so you can get yourself sorted? I'm sure you'll love it. Yay, we get to explore our house. You know, you're pushier than I thought. <laughs> well, I'm the one in charge of our town hall. Is she like the mayor or something? Anyway, as I said before, welcome to Rainy Woods. I'm kind of wondering, like, if she had an accident or something, or maybe like she was always in a wheelchair. I want to know her backstory. I hope we get to know a little bit more about her and her condition actually. This is the happiest town in the world. Please accept my heartfelt welcome and make yourself at home. Yay! <laughs> it, it, doesn't it make it suspicious when they just like keep telling you of, like that the town is the happiest town in the world? <laughs> Definitely makes you suspicious, right? Head to your destination. Okay, the destination icon 
on the screen is our current destination. Head towards it to proceed with the story. Okay, home is where you make it. All right, I feel like I wanna just have a little look around first or something. <laughs> I like the way she walks. Uh, let's have a little look here. Oh wow, <laughs> you can skip as well because <laughs> it's the happiest town in the world, right? <laughs> so you gotta have a nice skip and what was that? What is that? Is she kicking? I think it's like a kick button. Oh, okay. It looks like she has another like, I'm not sure what that is, an emote or something. I have no idea. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Looks like we've got some kind of photo or something. It's locked. I don't really know. Okay, so this is, okay, now we can start taking pictures already. So we can take a picture of this lady here. Apparently it's, you know, oh, that was a picture of the wheelchair. But if I go up a little bit, I can take a picture of the actual girl herself. So that's really cool. There's like a little nice rose bush up there. I love how you can take pictures of literally everything thing a middle-aged man cleaning should we take a picture of this guy morris downer cleaning let's take a picture of this guy why not oh i can be sneaky 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 <laughs> cool okay can i talk to her again i want to see if she has anything to to say to us or Help anything hey girl you know what i changed my mind where's the nearest hotel oh my is something the matter i just can't get over how fishy this is it's very fishy <laughs> you're really gonna give away a house to someone you don't even know is that really so out of the ordinary this is the happiest town in the world after all still it doesn't feel right to me Happiness is something that travels from person to person, so whatever you do for somebody else will always find its way back to you. You sound like a crazy person. <laughs> Maybe she is. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll come to understand what I mean eventually. Okay then. <laughs> sure, can you talk to her again? Overthinking things isn't good for your constitution, Miss Hayward. Like, I wonder how much dialogue they have. Now, you'd best head over to your new home and get settled in. The details can wait until after all of that, can't they? Did I mention you're pushy? <laughs> you have, and thank you for the lovely compliment. I'm not sure that's a compliment, but okay. Okay, so now the dialogue is repeating, so there is a limit to it, of course, but you know, that's kind of nice to know. I love how you can go in every single building. I feel like the walking feels a little bit sluggish. I, I don't know, it doesn't feel as fluid as I would like. It feels a little bit stiff. To me, anyways. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a, a pain, but I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> I'm sure it will be all good. Okay, so do we have a menu? We do have a menu. So I have a first aid kit. So that restores stamina, apparently. And we have <laughs> Dead Bull. <laughs> I like that. Dead Bull, the caffeinated beverage that has the power to bring you right back to life. I like that. Very cool. We have a plain scone. A simple scone. Mmm, I can smell the margarine from here. Very nice. Okay, she's got three of those. Wow, okay. Uh, okay, and then you can obviously like um, choose what category you want to see, so that makes sense. We got quests here, side quests, shrine missions, ooh, and of course the main quests. Um, I think we got our camera here. That's like our only item, I think. And then we have all the recipes, all the recipes in the game. A sauteed hedgehog. Why would you? No, that's just cruel. <laughs> Hedgehogs are the most adorable thing ever. Why would you cook one of those? Oh, that's just absolute savage. <laughs> Poor little hedgehog. I have so many hedgehogs around my house. Like I can't imagine eating one. They're really spiky as well. Like. Would that even be tasty? I have no idea. I don't know. All right, well, let's continue exploring. Can I go in the post shop? It doesn't look like you can go in every single building. Or maybe you can. Oh, maybe Naomi, you can. what are you doing? Uh, exploring. You've hardly started and you're already messing around. You came to this town to pay off your debt, did you not? I'm getting told if off. If you carry on <laughs> like this, you'll never make it back to New York. Now, do try to behave and head to your destination.
Okay, I'm sorry. I like exploring and stuff. It seems that we can't really like go too far. But maybe we could talk to this guy over here and then I, I promise I'll head to the destination. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to some people. That girl's really giving me an entire house as a welcome present? I'm not dumb enough to believe this. Now I'm really curious. I can't hurt by... I guess it can't hurt to stop by and take a look at the place. Okay, I guess I have to, I suppose. Wait, what's going on now? I don't even know. <laughs> the game's like forcing me into it. <laughs> I want to look around. God damn it. I hate it when games do that. <laughs> I like it when they just let you just roam and do what you want. All right, so there's my house. It looks quite quaint and quite nice. I like it. I'm sure you'll love it. She's got some nerve. It's all dirty, the garden's a mess, and this place is even more of a dump than I expected it to be. Are you kidding? You should see the kind of houses that you get in Harvest Moon. That's nice. That's a nice house. <laughs> and it's not even close to the town. I'm in the backwoods within the backwoods. Man, you should be happy with what you've got, man. <laughs> She's so ungrateful. This is why you can never trust anyone who gives you something for free. But I guess, on the bright side, it'll give me a total <laughs> privacy. Considering the reasons I came out to this godforsaking place, it might be the perfect hideout. Yeah, perfect for a private investigator, which is essentially what Naomi is. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely the perfect spot for her to uh, take oh, her, seriously? you know, investigative quests on. <laughs> oh well, at least I have a computer. My god, look how old that PC is. <laughs> it's like a PC from the 90s. <laughs> I remember seeing those when I was a kid. <laughs> um, but yeah, at least she's got one, I suppose. And uh, the internet, so that's awesome. Oh, we have a wooden box. We got a potato, a root vegetable that's practically a national food in some reason, in, in some regions. It can be served on the side or even as a main dish cookable all right and we got some seeds as well so we can plant them in our garden so that's awesome we have a kitchen here time for a little cooking can i actually cook something already i don't know if i can like the only thing i've got is a potato so i don't know oh wait i can make a jacket potato i guess i'll go with this yes jacket potatoes i remember where there was one t there was one part in my life where all i had was jacket potatoes <laughs> for like a week and it was hell i liked it at first and then it got like really really boring but it's all that like we had to eat at the time <laughs> woohoo critical success it's got beans on it as well beans and cheese that's the way you've got to have a jacket potato <laughs> eating food repeatedly at cafes and pubs will allow you to learn how they're supposed to taste once you learn a recipe you can cook up the dish in your home kitchen or in any outdoor kitchen i like how you have to actually like taste it and eat it before you can make it that's cool press uh okay press that button and exit and access press the Okay, press that button and access your recipe book from the menu to check your recipes at any time. You can also make memos based on recipes that will remind you to buy certain ingredients when you're out shopping. Okay, you can make little notes in it. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right, I got my, my little jacket potato. Should we put it down here? There we go. Can I eat it? I'd like to eat. Oh, you can only eat it when it's on a table. Very strange. There we go. As you can see, we have a stomach meter up on the top left. It's got 100 out of 100 right now, so we're completely full. There's a heart meter, so we seem to have some kind of health bar. And whatever that eye symbol means, that could be something to do with like stealth or something. Like, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. We'll have to find out as we proceed through the game. Oh, we got cobwebs and everything. I wonder if you can like clean up the the house as well that's a kind of creepy looking picture i think it's it's just sheep right but it looks kind of creepy to me <laughs> i don't know if it's meant to be but it does to me anyways let's have a look in in the bedroom we have a nice bed here Naomi, i'm guessing what are you doing? oh the eye symbol might be her tiredness meter that's probably what it is all right all right i'm sorry we got beauty care here time for some beauty care Beauty care complete. Very nice. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I think you can like do your makeup and stuff like that in this game. You can change your clothes. My favorite shade, shirts, pants, shoes. Of course, we have nothing to change into right now, but that's definitely a thing that you can do. We have a shower room. Should I take a shower? Will the game let me? 
I guess it will. <laughs> okay, I really should do the objective though, messing around a little bit. <laughs> I feel so refreshed. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's check out the computer. So damn slow, I can imagine. Uh, first things first, I need to check and see if my clients sent me anything. Okay, that could be a good idea. So let's have a look at our mail. Magic and mushrooms. <laughs> okay, nice to see you. From the Rainy Woods Info Hub, do you know the witch's forest on the west side of the town? Some people say that a honest to goodness witch li lives deep inside, but could such a spine tingling rumor be true? Oh my gosh, is there really a, ri a witch in this game? Okay, this is Rainy Woods, a town of happiness where anything can happen. And if you're not spellbound by tales of witches and witchcraft, the forest is also a great place to try mushroom picking. We promise it's more fun than that weird teacher you had in secondary school made it sound. So throw on your anorak and give it a go, but pick responsibly. Eating random mushrooms could le lead to a less than magical experience. Okay. <laughs> All right then. So we can go into the forest like and pick mushrooms at some point. So that's cool. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, this is something to do with pubs and pies or something. Treat yourself to the ultimate mushroom cuisine. I feel like they're obsessed with mushrooms in this game. They're horrible. <laughs> if you've got a hankering for a shroomy dish, then head over to Mushroom and Evans. It's some kind of advertisement, maybe for like a new like shop or something. I don't really know. Okay. I mean, I'm not surprised that there's pubs like <laughs> if you go to England, you'll just see that there are just pubs absolutely everywhere. <laughs> you can't go to a town without seeing a pub. They are honestly everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, that I guess that's a good, like, you know, stereotype for, for England. <laughs> Okay, what have we got here? My Flamingo account has been registered. So I kind of know a little bit about this Flamin Flamingo app. You kind of upload like videos or photos or something to it and you get paid uh, for the pictures that you take. Okay, so what's this? If you're reading this, you must have made it safely. Okay, good. So what exactly... So exactly what sort of place is the happiest town in the world? I'm sure it's like stepping inside a fairy tale. Uh, probably not, not like that exciting. <laughs> I mean, I'm not quite sure you would describe it as a fairy tale, but okay. <laughs> So the um, amount that we owe is, oh my god, that's so much money. That's like 30 million. I couldn't believe my ears the first time I heard about it. How are we going to pay off that? It's like Animal Crossing where you have to pay off um, Tom Nook with, the, with that crazy amount of debt. Flamingo, huh? I hate apps like this. But if it will help me pay money off of my photos, then I may as well check it out. Okay, let's have a look. Guess I should upload a photo and test it out. Okay, so the hot words are beer and yummy food, overflowing garden gardens, weird manhole covers. <laughs> so what? Okay, random. Let's upload a photo. Let's upload. Let's see what I've got here. Let's, let's upload this weird man. <laughs> Display tags. What should we do? Okay, I guess it does the tags for you. I guess and then we're gonna confirm I'm gonna upload this photo see what we get even the internet out here is prehistoric this is why I hate the boonies oh my gosh she doesn't seem happy here does she I hope she grows to love it if I sit and wait for this to finish uploading I'll be here until the Sun goes down is the internet like so bad oh no I should head back to the town center and start doing some legwork okay cool Naomi is a professional photographer if you find any subjects worth photographing don't be be afraid to snap a few shots so we aim with the left and then take a picture of the right okay cool I already have taken a few already so it's fine in camera mode you'll see green and plus marks oh you'll see green plus marks next to objects and people if they're properly in frame if you center in on an object or a person green words known as tags will also appear tags are important hints to help you complete certain quests and fulfill certain hot words okay cool all right on for me there will always be a group of hot words yep I did see that so that's awesome so yeah try and take pictures according to what the hot words are on flamingo that's
that sounds like a great idea actually so if we try and take pictures of some yummy food and like gardens and maybe some antiques or something oh it's done <laughs> yay we did our first picture nice nice but yeah sadly i'm not really sure if uh we got too much hey look we're getting hearts already <laughs> yay i've already earned 10p <laughs> wow <laughs> if only if it, it was that easy right <laughs> just upload a picture and get money that easily that would be crazy okay well let's start our day let's see i think i had a little message in the corner i don't know what that was about but here we are in our lovely garden i think we should plant a potato that'd be good you can plant seeds in your garden. If you plant a seed in your garden and wait a day, it will start to grow. Once it's fully grown, you'll be able to harvest it as a material. Okay, let's plant this. What should I plant here? We, of course, are gonna plant our potato seeds. That'd be great. Are we gonna do all of them or is it just like one at a time? Maybe I should plant all of them. Do we have to water it as well? Like, how does this work? I don't know. I'm gonna plant all of it anyway and we'll see what happens. It looks like we have quite a few beds here, which is nice. I hope that we get like to upgrade it and we get like more beds like later. I planted a potato seed here. You can transplant them, but I don't have anything to plant. Hmm. Okay, well they're planted, so that's great it doesn't look like you have to water them at least from what i can tell but i don't know we've got to uncover the secrets of rainy wood <laughs> cool okay why am i so sparkly i don't understand shall we take a picture of our of our potatoes vegetable bud let's take a picture to celebrate the moment <laughs> that would be great so let's see i got like a message right so i should probably check that i think i got like a message i think it's on my computer so i'm just gonna quickly check that to see if it's anything important because it could be you never know you never know so let's have a little look watch out okay let's see dear naomi this is lucy from the morning bell news uh as written in the first subject your job is to take pictures of course we don't want you to run out there and photograph any old person so we'd like you to start with town hall's employees so william dickens and rita barrett so i have to take a picture of those people and once we confirm the photos you uploaded match up with our list we'll deposit your reward of 10 pound that's a nice head start I know that you don't have the most stable internet so I don't expect you to reply to me every every time but don't worry I've always got my eye on you that's kind of creepy but okay so this is a side quest let's start our very first side quest that'd be great everyone in town is a member of either team cat or team cot or team dog but dog is god backwards. <laughs> you can tell who's on which teams by looking at the icons next to their names. The townspeople will say different things to you depending on the position of Naomi's DC gauge. Okay, I'm probably going to be on team dog. I love dogs. Cats are good too, but dogs for the win. <laughs> when you discover a new quest while working on an existing quest, a prompt will allow you to continue your current quest. Okay, cool. Just telling me about switching quests, I think so that's awesome all right let's go and find William and Rita and see if we can take a lovely snapshot of them that would be great all right is there a map or something ah there is a map wow the town actually looks bigger than I was expecting holy moly this looks really big I don't know how far exactly we can go this bit doesn't look like um you can go down there just yet but yeah it looks pretty decently big actually so that's really really awesome I can't wait to discover more that's gonna be great uh so how do I get back to the town I feel a little bit like disorientated a little bit so uh that's kind of crazy is there a fast travel i kind of kind of hoping that there is one but uh there's a warp home button so you can like fast travel to your house but it doesn't look like you can fast travel to other locations as far as i can tell right now anyway but that's okay at least there is some kind of fast travel system a little bit and as you can tell there's also like a day night cycle and also days of the week in the corner today is saturday and it is 
have to right now so you can see that there is like a time thing in the corner as well to do so yeah definitely like you know living day to day just doing random photography work and uh, stuff like that so that's going to be cool so this looks like maybe there's like a construction little icon over here so this must be like you know stuff for your health and house and stuff can i can i jump over this gate kind of hoping i can no i like how you can go into like people's gardens and stuff I don't know who lives here, but it looks like you can go into like other people's gardens and stuff like that. <laughs> Be a trespasser. Look through their windows. <laughs> Be a weird neighbor. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But yeah, I do wish you ran just a little bit faster. Is that a rat? They've got rats here. Oh, it's a mouse. Okay, can I get like, I want to get like the front of it. That'd be great. Let's see. Oh no, he keeps, oh no, he's gonna run. <laughs> I don't think that was a very good shot. <laughs> I just gotta quickly take pictures. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I don't know what, if I'm getting good shots here, I don't know. <laughs> oh well, I got a few shots, so that's cool. It's cool that there's like little random wildlife just like wandering about in this game as well. I really love that. So, why is there a random wardrobe there? I have no idea. Can I go in here? or anything can i go inside doesn't look like i can maybe this is something like for later it doesn't look like we can do anything with this right now uh can you like can i kick that mouse <laughs> is that evil is that a thing that you can do shall we try it let's see what happens i'm kind of curious i don't know if i'll get close enough oh oh my gosh i kicked it i got a small animal hide <laughs> Wow, hide taken from a small mouse sized animal could prove useful if attached to something else but useful useless on its own. Okay, why has it got a heart next to it? What? Oh, I think I killed it. Oh my god, I feel so mean. Oh, this looks like the William Dickens guy that we need to take a picture of. There we go. Uh, I'm William Dickens, the only novelist who lives in this town, and coincidentally, the greatest novelist in the known world. Wow, that's some big ego right there. My genius is a natural talent bestowed upon me by God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what I like to call my ever-flowing fountain of creativity. That's exactly my reaction, Naomi. <laughs> I like to hear what everyone else calls it. <laughs> Me too. Incidentally, Elizabeth is my younger sister. I do hope we'll maintain an air of civility between the three of us. Okay, is there anything else you're going to say? Mornings of the Sabbath always remind me of the magnitude of God. After God after god created the heavens and the earth in six days he bestowed upon me limitless imagination i must take good care to never forget my gratitude for what he did well that's certainly an epic thought he's a crazy does he say anything else okay so you can talk to them twice before they start repeating their dialogue by the looks of it so it looks like he's on team dog as well because he's got like a dog symbol next to him so i approve i approve what's this oh i found something i found some mint it can be used in cooking ha ah, very cool looks like there are little things that you can collect around the town as well what have we got here rosemary very nice i'm sure we'll be using that at some point two so that's good oh there's something over here too let's grab this what's that a beetle a beetle with a coarse texture seems like it might taste bitter can be used in concoctions can you make like potions in this game <laughs> okay that's uh that's different i suppose it looks like this is a pub or a cafe oh i love her little bear i want a picture of that bear it's so cute come back here <laughs> come back here child i love this too i want to take a picture of this as well <laughs> i love taking pictures oh she runs so quick i can't keep up with her can you kick people in this game <laughs> Is that a thing that you can do? I've got no idea. Wait, I want the picture of the bear. I got girl moving, not the bear though. I'll take a picture of her. Let's see what she says. Who are you? I'm Naomi, a photographer from New York. A photographer? Um, okay, I'm Emma McCauley. My grandpa's the vicar. I see. Got anything else to say? It's me, Emma. Clay's the one who likes to wear hats. And Charlotte never goes out without her bunny. Well, you've got one too. Can I? I really want to take a picture of it. I can't because she just keeps moving. <laughs> so frustrating. 
No! <laughs> okay, is there anybody in the pub today? Last time I went in here, there wasn't anyone. Oh, hello! Oh my god, that is the coolest bartender ever. Can you imagine that? Like, going into a pub and just seeing, like, this punk rocker lady. So cool. Oi! Now you look like a lass who enjoys a good bevy. I'm Michelle O'Reilly, the bartender here at 1977. Feel free to pop in whenever you fancy getting fluthered. Like! Okay. <laughs> Want something? Yeah, let's see what drinks you have for sale. Oi, photographer, what'll it be? All right, so she sells Irish steak, toad in the hole. Oh, that's a classic. That's a classic. <laughs> Very English. Sunday roast, naturally. Bangers and mash. Yep, you gotta have that you know <laughs> definitely very english i love that this speaks to me black pudding saute we've got roasted nuts dried fruits cauliflower cheese mac and cheese scotch egg very nice fish and chips and lots and lots of drinks here very nice dragon scales red rind that sounds really cool hot chocolate gimme <laughs> i feel like i'd be wasting my money though i don't think we really like need anything right now but then again, if you taste it, you can then like cook it, right? But we probably need the ingredients too. Just let me know if you need anything like. Okay, <laughs> looks like she has a habit of saying like. Uh, where am I going? Miss Hayward, do you have a moment? Uh, that's a little bit too close Seriously? for comfort. <laughs> Whoa, where did you come from? Why does her face vibrate <laughs> like uncontrollably? Like, so what, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> It'll be a full moon tonight, so I must ask you to refrain from going outside. Okay, do you turn into werewolves? <laughs> it's still a little bit too early for you. Once the moon begins to rise, I must ask you to return home quickly and stay indoors. Uh, okay, why exactly do I have to do that? Because I've asked you nicely is why. You mustn't go out outside at night. It's for your own good. Creepy. Very creepy. Creepy and mysterious. Don't go out tonight. Hmm. Wait until evening. <laughs> of course Naomi wants to investigate that, right? <laughs> Makes sense, right? I would too, definitely. Let's see, Mushroom and Evans. This was uh, mentioned in one of my emails that I just like kind of skimmed through. Um, wow, he's really enjoying his pot of mushrooms. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Ha, oh, this looks really cozy. I like it in here. All right, let's see what this crazy dude says. Oh, I don't believe I I don't believe I've met you before. My name is Bruno Evans. I run a cafe called Mushroom and Evans. Good grief. I serve some pretty delicious dishes there. So I do hope you'll drop in at some point. Hmm, a cafe with delicious food. All right, I'll check it out sometime. Okay, we're right here. What will it be? Feed me. Go on, stuff your gums. So he sells porridge, cocoa, toast, Mormite toast. What's that? Toast that smells really weird. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> flapjacks. I love flapjacks. Very good. So many different stuff. What's the mystery meat? <laughs> a pie made with a cheap meat. Not really sure what they put in this pile, but... Not really sure what they put in this pie, but it's cheap, so who cares, right? Oh boy. Stargazy pie, healthy pie, okay, nice. There's so many different, like, things you can buy. I love how much choice there is. It's very cool. Should we talk to him? Hi there. Have you gone around and said hello to everyone? Most of us are pretty friendly, so don't be shy. I'm working on it. <laughs> there are a lot of characters, it seems. Oh, I've not seen you around before, my love. I'm Auntie Jan. I spend my time making yummy scony, scony wannies in my garden. And when the weather's nice, I go out and sell them around the town. If you see me out and about, do come up and say hello. Aww, she looks very, very happy. Look how happy she is. She's such a happy lady. Let's take a take a nice picture of her. It just feels so cozy. So we gotta take one. I love these like little little things on the on the side. Actually, it doesn't look like we can get anything there. Oh, this is the lady we need. Actually, I think is she in disguise or something? It looks like she's trying to hide her face. <laughs> I'm Rita Barrett. I work at the town hall. To commemorate our meeting, allow me to recite for you a poem. The question, who are you, is the same as who am I. What? That's definitely one hell of a vapid, pointless poem. What was that about? Okay. What, when, where, and with whom do you eat? That is what decides your happiness. You forgot why and how. You're really such a hopeless half-witch, Naomi. This is a poem. It's art. 
You're calling me the halfwit? I'm not the one who keeps reciting stupid. I'm not the one who keeps reciting stupid, meaningless poems. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but all right then. Crazy town. What a crazy town. Can I post something? I don't think so. I've got ATM over here. Welcome. Please choose an option so I can withdraw deposit money. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. At ATMs, you can deposit and withdraw money. If you get a game over, you'll lose some money as a penalty. How do you get game over? You can get game over in this game? It doesn't look like the type of game that you would actually like get a game over but okay I found a butterfly wing okay what else we got here I found another beetle so we have another one of those there's a shop here oh this is that lady's little place can we go in I don't think she's working today oh I found a little a little flower <laughs> let's take it home <laughs> should we steal it <laughs> hello who's this lady over here can I talk to you so, you're the new girl who just moved in. I'm Salome Macaulay. Are you the mum of that little girl who was like running around? The vicar is my husband and Emma, Clay and Charlotte are our grandchildren. Ah, I look forward to getting to know you. Yeah, sure. She looks very jolly. I simply love helping out at charitable foundations. Won't you join me, Naomi? Um, uh, sorry. I'm too busy paying off my debt. Oh, well, if you ever have a change of heart, I'll always be here. <laughs> That's nice. All right, so I guess we'll take this home. I want to take it home. Can I warp home, like, with it in my hand? Like, is that possible? You'll lose one hour's worth of energy. Okay. That's okay. I think I've taken the pictures as well for the side quest, so I could probably turn that in as well whilst I'm there. Oh, cool. So she actually, like, carries it as well. We can decorate our garden with the random randomness around town. Like, how cool is that? I love that. I'm going to have that right there in the corner. I could go and grab and just get, like, a whole row of them. <laughs> that would be so cool. That would be so nice. Okay, so let's go into our house, and I'm pretty sure I took the two pictures that I needed for that side quest so I'm going to I'm gonna do that I'm gonna upload those so that'd be cool so two flamingo let's upload what picture was it this guy here yeah we want to confirm this one there we go and we also need this one here this is Rita so if we upload both of these here we should get the money that we're after. Apparently I earned like £10 off that like one picture. Oh my god, look at all my likes. They're still going up. I got a thousand likes just from taking a picture of this random guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, there's my upload target. Yay, we did the uh, first side quest. And I got £13 for doing it. So that is awesome. Deposit funds? Sure. So now let's get, now let's get our money. <laughs> Very nice. So uh, let's see. Did I take any pictures? What about this one? If we upload this picture of this flower, we might get something good because there is a hashtag for overflowing gardens, right? So that could possibly be something something nice. I might actually upload this one as well, the one of my potatoes. See if that like makes us some money as well. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Okay, we just gotta wait till evening now. I guess I could go to bed. I could use the bed, but I'm thinking I might just keep exploring because I feel like there is still so, so much to discover and I haven't even touched the sides. So I'd really love to continue exploring for sure. So that'd be really cool. Let's do some skipping. The girl told me not to go outside at night. That just makes me want to do it even more. <laughs> Whatever. Time to go check out the town. Yes, it sounds like a good idea. Snoop around the town. Let's do it. Let's see what mysteries are going like on in the town today. I got a sandy caterpillar. A long, thin caterpillar with a rough texture. It has a sandy colour and emits a sour scent when crushed up. It can be used in concoctions. I see. Okay, then. Let's see what's going on in the town. I'm curious. Oh, oh no. She's going to come tell me off. <laughs> Has she spotted me? <laughs> wow, she's going so quick. I wonder where she's going. <laughs> I have no idea. I thought for sure that she was going to stop and like tell me off. Oh, there's things in this garden for me to pick up now. There's tons over here. We can steal their produce. I feel kind of mean, but I'm stealing all their potatoes. Give me all those. 
<laughs> that would be great. Yay, I have so many potatoes now. Alrighty, let's see if we can find anything else. So, let's go down here and see if anything happens. I'm just going to go straight to the objective this time. I'm feeling a little peckish. My character is like almost halfway, but I think she'll be okay. I think she'll definitely be all right. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh my gosh, is there going to be some kind of craziness happening? There's cats and dogs all over the place. Where'd all the people go? Way. Is... is this the town's big secret? That's right. This town's been hiding a rather beastly secret. Now this is one hell of a scoop. Uh, Elizabeth? H hold on! Hey, lady! Why are you the only one who's still normal? That's a good point. She's the only one that hasn't changed. Okay, how bizarre, but that's all right. Okay, urgent quest, raining cats and dogs. As you make your way through the story, you'll sometimes come across urgent quests. Make sure you don't let yourself get distracted if you want to complete these before you run out of time. Oh, they're timed? Okay, I'll have to make sure to do that. But yeah, it's so easy to get distracted. You can play with the dogs. They're so cute. <laughs> How do you expect me not to get distracted when there's just like cute dogs and cats just like all around me? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Picked that up on the way. Got a basil. Very nice. There's cute little bunny rabbits and stuff. Little ornaments over there. Very cute. Okay, let's see what happens with this creepy lady. Shall I follow her? Shall I stalk her? I guess I should. I need a wheelchair too, so I can catch up with her. <laughs> oh my gosh, where's she gone? Over there. Okay, let's see if we can hunt her down. It looks like there is something here to pick up too. What's that? What did I get? Oh, a caterpillar. Another one of those. Okay, where did she go? Did she go in here? Uh, no, she went round this way, I think. I think I'm going the right way. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think I'm on the right path for, for sure. Taking the sights as we go for a lovely little stroll. Look how tiny Naomi's backpack is though. <laughs> it looks really, really small. I bet she can't fit too much in there, like at all. But yeah, I don't know how urgent this is because I don't see a time limit for it anywhere. Maybe it's on the actual quest log in like the menu or something. Is it actually in here? This is urgent, but I don't know. It said something about a time limit, but I don't see anything. So I have no idea, but we made it into Sunday. We've done like a whole day in the game already. There's a little doggo over there. I wonder what it's doing. I wonder what causes these people to turn into cats and dogs. Very mysterious. <laughs> Okay, let's see what happens. It looks like there's something up on the church's bell tower. Maybe it's related to what's happening. I should check it out and then send a report back to Morning Bell if I find anything. But how the hell am I going to get up there? That's a good question. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe we could fly <laughs> or something. Maybe this old lady can shed some light on it. I have no idea. We'll have to keep stalking her and see what she's doing. All right, all right, I'll follow you. Oh my gosh, don't do it. Something bad is gonna happen. I just know it. Okay, how far has she gone? Man, I really wish I could like run that fast, like seriously. She's just gone with the wind and I'm just back here like trying to keep up. Oh my gosh, she's gone so far away. Oh, I can't wait to be able to ride on a sheep. Oh, it's raining. I like how it has different weather cycles as well. But oh my gosh, she's going to get such muddy shoes. All right, what have I found? A wrapping leaf, a leaf from a strange plant that only grows in this region. Feels like a nice comfy blanket. Ooh, that sounds cool. I want one of those. <laughs> I want to wrap myself in a comfy leaf blanket. <laughs> oh, I've made it into the witch's forest. Do you think we'll find the witch? Maybe the lady on the wheelchair is the witch, and maybe that's why she's not changing. Sage seeds. All the nutrients, all the nutrients condensed in these seeds make a ten times. 
All the, nu all the nutrients condensed in these seeds make them ten times as powerful as a leaf. I see. Well, let's keep going, see what we can find. I am curious. I think we're nearly there. Oh my gosh, there's the witch's house. We've made it. It's so creepy. It suddenly got so creepy. <laughs> It was so nice and light-hearted and then we just come to this like really super uber uber creepy house in the middle of the woods. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's her rush? Where did she go? Hmm. Witch house pharmacy. Ugh. Goddamn hellhole. Oh my gosh. I would not want to go in there. She's pretty brave to actually like go in there, I have to say. I'm not sure if I would want to, but okay then. Oh my god, I feel like there's going to be a jump scare or something. <laughs> oh no! Naomi, run! <laughs> Leave that weird place! Do you realise what you just stepped into, sweetheart? People round here call this place the witch's house. The... the witch's house? <laughs> Bum da da da! <laughs> I'm Pauline Atwood, but everyone calls me the Woodland Witch! <laughs> she certainly seems colourful, <laughs> so I like that. <laughs> She's like a hippie living in the middle of the woods. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Ugh, you smell like booze. Hey, tell me where... Hey, tell me where it's against the rules to get absolutely bladded in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you're right. And who might you be, sweetheart? What's got you barging into my home at this time of night for? Oh, right. Hey, Granny, did you see a girl named Elizabeth around here? She's a quiet type with red hair who rides around in this crazy high-tech wheelchair. And exactly why are you looking for a girl named Elizabeth? Well, because she clearly wants me to follow her. <laughs> I thought she was going to take me somewhere, but then I suddenly lost track of her. And the other townspeople turned into... Ah! That's right, something weird is happening in Rainy Woods right now. What's going on? Do they have some kind of device set up that makes people hallucinate? Or is it re a result of some human experiment? It couldn't possibly be real magic, right? What on earth are you talking about, sweetheart? Um, uh... Well, anyway, I just need to find a, a way to get to the top of the church's bell tower. I'm sure I'll be able to solve this mystery as long as I can get to what's up there. That's what my intuition as a pro photographer is telling me. I don't follow, but it looks to me like you've got a case of the collie wobbles. The what? <laughs> huh? Uh, well, see, I have this big debt and... Hmm, I think I've got just the thing for you. Okay, I'm not sure if I like this idea. If you wish to solve all your problems, go and gather these things for me. If you can gather them all before the time runs out, I'll make a very special concoction for you. Oh, so this is where the potions come in, okay. A special concoction. A concoction that will make you feel like you could fly right up to the heavens. So it'll get me really high. What I mean is... I'm sure it will take you right where you need to go. Hell yeah! Alright, you sold me. I'll run your little errand for you. So simple-minded. <laughs> That's one of my strengths. <laughs> so what do I need to go and get? Three helpings of catnip and one tear fruit. Okay, I've never heard of those items. That's it? This will be easy. Are you sure? Oh, and a picture of the mural from the area. A picture of the mural? You said you're a pro photographer, didn't you? That mural contains the secret recipe I need to create the concoction. Instead of taking notes, I'd prefer it if you just brought me Seriously? a photo. Whoa, cool. This is like an RPG. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's like become self-aware. Okay, I just memorized all the things you want me to bring back. 
Oh, and one last thing. This part's very important, sweetheart. I've you've got a time limit you've got a time limit on all of this until 8 a.m. and not a tick past it. I can only create the concoction tonight when the moon's surging with power. Creating the concoction at any other time will only serve to weaken its power. What happens if you don't make it, I wonder? Do you like fail the quest? So I don't want to see any dilly-dallying. Bring me what I need at once. Leave it to me, Granny. I'll be back before you know it. And here's a little parting gift. I get the feeling you're going to become one of my best customers. Vitality pills. Oh, okay. They're bitter and taste like crap, but can restore a ton of my health. Okay, cool. And insomniac, insomniac extract. Special capsules prepared by the Woodland Witch for nights when I can't afford to sleep. Usually you take pills to get to sleep. <laughs> Not the other way around, but okay. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, I suppose. Okay then. Where am I going to get all these items from? I've got no clue. Let's see what she says if I talk to her again. Maybe she'll give some hints. Were you able to get everything I asked for? No, I was hoping for some hints. What are you doing here? What did I tell you? Okay, okay, okay. I know I'm on a time limit. Okay. It doesn't look like she's going to give me any hints or anything like that. What a funny character. I absolutely love her. She is probably one of my favorite characters that we have bumped into so far. I love the personality and the characterization for her. She is just so nutty and I love that. <laughs> so, so cool. Okay then, well maybe the quest will like mark it on the, the map or something? Like that would be kind of cool. Oh my god, it's such a creepy area. So creepy. Extra creepzoid factor here. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, it looks like there's something up here. Whatever that is. It's kind of marked on the map, so... That makes it slightly easier. I think we should go to this destination first. I think that'd be good because we're like kind of close to it. Oh, there's like a, a little tree over there. Let's go see if we can collect it. Why is the music just got like all creepy? Like what? What's going on? I feel creeped out right now. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like this. Is that a squirrel? <gasps> we found a red squirrel. Let's take a picture real quick. Quick. Oh my gosh. I think I missed it. I know, it's kind of hard to take a take a picture. Where'd it go? Oh my gosh, it's hard. It moves so quick. I can't get a good one. Should we kick it? <laughs> I could probably get an item from it. I know it's evil, but you get a good item though, so it'd be a, a good a good idea. All right, where are you going? All right, did, did I get it? I don't think I did. Ah, so hard to take a picture of something that moves so quick. I wish I could like, stop time or something. <laughs> That'd be great. I don't even know if I can if I can kick the poor thing. <laughs> I feel so bad doing this. I'm so evil. I got gotcha. ya. <laughs> I got red squirrel meat. Meat from a type of squirrel that lives in cold regions. Tastes kind of like chicken mixed with rabbit. Cookable. Oh my gosh. Okay then. Let's have a look at this tree. Is this what I'm after? Here is the tear fruit, a strange fruit that only grows in this region, filled with an unusual translucent juice that can be used in concoctions. Very weird. Why can't we take a picture of that? That'd be like the perfect picture. It's so weird looking, but there's no like like tags or like anything like that on it, so I don't think that that's really a thing that we can do, sadly, but that's okay. All right, let's take a picture of this. Um. Okay, let's pick this up, whatever this is, something on the tree. Uh, turbid sap, cloudy sap taken from a hard to find tree. It's hard and resilient, but can't be used as material on its own. I see. Okay then, let's see what we can do here. Let's see, I think the closest one would be, I would like to go to that one, but I think we'll go to the one in the town first. So we'll follow this one first and then we'll come back through the other way. I found a button mushroom. That actually makes it sound really cute. <laughs> a baby mushroom, two or three centimeters large. Okay, cool. So many mushrooms in this game. <laughs> it's like mushroom euphoria for sure. We really need to find something to eat as well. That'd be really good. Oh my gosh, a creepy graveyard. 
dun 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 I feel like there's quite a lot of different places to explore in this game I feel like I definitely haven't gotten to all of the locations in this game I feel like there's quite a bit to explore which is really really cool actually I'm loving that I'm loving that a lot okay let's keep going Naomi let's see if we can find something is that a scarecrow Ooh, we could take a picture of the scarecrow that'd be really cool all right it is a shame that oh wait there is a run button oh my god all this time I didn't know that there was a run button <laughs> I thought I was going as fast as I could <laughs> there's actually a run button oh my god okay I found a vivid caterpillar I was gonna say like that's so so like like um slow I feel like that was all it was <laughs> I'm so glad that there is actually a run button oh I picked up some cucumbers I've got some lovely cucumbers here and some tomatoes very nice I accidentally clicked off of those but that's okay I wish I could just like jump over the wall <laughs> or something that's okay oh my gosh it feels so much better now that we can actually run <laughs> oh no oh there's a stamina bar of course there is like completely didn't even realize that that was a thing but okay all right then let's see what else we got around here mint seeds all right and I found something over here catnip yay I found some catnip how much of that can we take Seems to be loads down there. Wow, I got loads of it. All right, what's this over here? I found rosemary seeds. Very, very nice. Okay, well, we got one thing that we're after. We need to hurry up because we only have until 8 a.m. So it's getting on now. So we should definitely do the objective. <laughs> so otherwise, we're not going to make it before 8 a.m. And we might fail our quest it's nearly six already so i need to hurry this place is so big too so we definitely need to hurry up a little bit my stamina is running low so i'll just stop a sec all right i think we're nearly there that looks like the mural right so that's great it's just how do you get into it like that's a that's a question <laughs> And I'm not quite sure, I'm not quite sure just yet. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to fail this quest. I've been way too slow. <laughs> oh no, we'll have to hurry. I need to hurry. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 Naomi. You got this. You got this. We're like so close to it now. Okay, cool. Yeah, it definitely like takes longer if you let the stamina go right down. Okay, let's take a picture of that. Is that what I need? Hmm. What's going on here? On the, on the, I was on the wrong side. That's why. Okay, cool. So we did that. Now we have to turn it in, right? Like, um, it's up there. Where's my house? Like, would it be faster to, like, fast travel to my house and th then, like, walk from there? Uh, it might not be. I don't know exactly where my house is. So I don't know. I hope the time's not progressing whilst I'm on here. <laughs> Because that would really suck. Well, I've got no idea. Burley's farm. I don't actually know where my house is, but it might be like really far away. So maybe that's not a good idea. I'm not familiar completely with the the map here, so I'm not quite sure. Okay, luckily time stops when you're in the menu, so that's one nice thing. But I literally have an hour to get back to where I need to go. So uh, yeah, that that's not a good sign. <laughs> I have to be quick. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Now I feel like really nervous. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see what happens if you failed a quest, I guess. It'd probably just start you from a checkpoint, though, I'm assuming. So, uh, yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. It's kind of hard to, you know, get around the town. It's like a, a maze or something. All right, let's just walk a little bit. Let's go up this way. All right, I've got like 30 seconds. <laughs> oh no, and I've still got a little ways to walk. Go, Naomi, go. You can do it. I need to make her run faster. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God, I don't know about this, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. Come on, girl. You got this. You got the power. Uh, I think I'm going the right way I think it's up there the witch's wood is just here so like I'm close but no I'm not gonna make it <laughs> I've been way too slow <laughs> I've been a little distracted oh, it's already gotten this late oh well I guess it's back to grandma's house then so what happens if you mess up oh 
Okay, maybe you just get less of a reward. Ooh, three helpings of catnip and one tear fruit. And you even managed to snap me a shot of that mural. You're more skilled than I took you for, sweetheart. <laughs> if you say so. Now I can finally prepare the secret concoction. One sip and all your worries will be whisked away. I'm glad it was worth gathering up all of that crap. Oh, it was worth it, all right. You find me the ingredients and I make you the concoctions. I'm digging this cushy you roll mine, I roll yours deal that we've got going on here. Good luck with the concocting then. Okay then. <laughs> it's uh, some craziness. Okay, so I don't know. It doesn't feel like the consequences really did anything there, but maybe it's just because it's like the first like timed quest really. So it could be like giving a little bit of leeway there. I'm not sure. In Vino Veritas, some kind of like uh, crazy um, ritual going on over here. I don't even know. All right then, crazy lady. Ignoramus and Ignoria Bemus or something. I wonder if that's made up. I'm pretty sure it is, right? Oh, I'm getting sleepy. It's quite late, I have to say. And I probably should feed Naomi as well. All right, are you done yet? Wow, this is a long ritual. Okay, I've got a Bodmin potion, a special potion concocted by the Woodland Witch. It has a weird smell that sort of prickles my nose, but it will make me a lot more agile. Meow. Oh, <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? I think I have a little feeling here about what's gonna happen. <laughs> So this is going to be cool, actually. I'm looking forward to this part of the game. It's going to be really fun, I think. What the? A everyone's back to normal. Why, good morning. Lovely day, innit? Like nothing happened. Elizabeth. That's right. The church's bell tower. The witch's concoction is supposed to make me higher than a kite. Time to give this thing a try. Oh boy. Here we go. This is going to be fun. That was an exaggerated cry, I have to say, <laughs> but all right then. There we are. We even get to keep our shades, which is very cool. I like that. <laughs> Yay! We have become one with the kitties. Lovely. I'm excited to look around. Cat's eye sensibility. Proof that you've acquired the sensibility of a cat allows you to transform into a cat whenever you want. Yay! Your transformation into a cat helps to reawaken your animal instincts. To the cat's eye sensibilities have been added to your key items. So I press, I can turn into a cat anytime by pressing right on the D-pad. Very cool indeed. Raining cats and dogs. Okay, this looks like another timed one. What do I have to do? I have to climb up the church's um, bell tower. Okay, how much time exactly do I have? Let's see, what buttons do I have? I have like an attack button. I have a jump button. I have a meow button, <laughs> naturally. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. I can still pick up items as a cat, so that's nice. Ooh, there's like a little first person view as the cat. Oh my gosh, and now I can really feel like an actual cat. I love that so much. That's a really cool little feature actually. And you can run as a cat, which is like super speed. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so fast, so fast. Um, use your animal vision to easily climb up areas that will otherwise be inaccessible. Simply hold the left trigger to activate animal vision, then leap with the right trigger. Okay, cool. Can we interact with like characters or anything as a cat? Uh, oh, hello. Um, okay, what did we do? I don't know. Hello, meow. I want attention. Stroke me. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that hat though. That's an amazing hat. Can you give me attention, please? They don't seem to want to give me attention. Seems you can't interact with the villagers when you're a cat. That's a bit of a shame. But okay, I'm guessing this is like cat vision that they were talking about. 
I suppose. Let's have a look. There's got to be like somewhere on the, the tower that we can like climb or something. Maybe from the little pipe there? I don't know. I don't really see too much around here though. Like nothing's really standing out to me. So I'm not really sure where it wants me to go. Hold on. Are those meant to be paw prints or is that just just a dirty house i think it's just dirt just like bird poo or something i don't know you could probably climb from here right maybe i don't know i don't know how to do it how we exactly do this i don't know maybe we should like turn back and then like see if the villagers will like say anything to me because i'm kind of confused as to what i'm supposed to be doing here i've got no idea oi didn't your mum ever tell Oi, didn't your mum ever teach you not to stare? I'm eating right now. Back off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Savage. Wow. So rude. So rude. <laughs> I guess she is trying to eat, but still. Oh, look, they're all like having lunch. That's so cute. Yo, kid. Miss Hayward, you don't know who I am, do you? Uh, sure I do. You're Emma. Please don't forget me again, okay? Uh, okay. All right, let's talk to this guy. I'm Benedict Macaulay, the, victor, the vicar of this town's church. Normally you can find me at the pub. Don't hesitate to drop by if you've got something on your mind. The pub? Not the church? The, victor, the vicar must be one hell of an alcoholic. Oh my gosh, I mean, that's what it's like. <laughs> There's just so many pubs. I'm sure it was destiny that led you to Rainy Woods, Naomi. Do you think so? That would be nice to, to think of. Can I go inside? No? Okay, let's see. Can we talk to these guys? Hello there, young lady. Nice to meet you. Why is your dialogue so big? I'm Thomas Berryman, manager of Butcher and Grocery. Okay, do you mind talking at a normal volume? Are we shouting? That's never been my forte. <laughs> what happened to his arm? I wonder. And it speaks to this lady with the crazy hat. We haven't met before, have we? I'm Thomas Berryman's wife, Martha Berryman. I see. So this is our first meeting. Oh, I've made a bit of a mess Seriously? of this sandwich. How do you screw up making a sandwich? <laughs> this is a good question. I could eat anything in the world so long as it was Martha that made it. Even if she screws up? Of course, I'd still scoff down every last bite. Now that is true love, right? How cute is that? <laughs> That's so adorable. All right, let's see if we can figure out how to climb up this... Uh, this church I really don't understand oh is that it there oh my god that's so hard to to notice no wonder I wasn't sure how to do it oh my gosh <laughs> so uh, uh I think we have to okay there we go I've got it <laughs> oh my god I didn't notice that they should make that a little bit more obvious because I, I I really did not notice that at first <laughs> Okay, a round glass bead. People often mistake them for jewels when they find one. It can be used as a material. I see. All right, what's we got down here? Let's have a look. Another one of them. Okay, cool. At least I know what I'm looking for now, so it should be a lot easier to, to climb stuff now. So that's cool. Yay, we made it <laughs> at last. So that's awesome. Oh my gosh. What on earth is that? Some crazy statue thing. I have no clue. Okay, <laughs> this game's so weird, I love it. I love how weird this game is so far. <laughs> it's relaxing and also like really weird and interesting at the same time. I'm really loving it so far. It's really, really cool. I'm looking forward to playing a bit more when it releases actually. All right, what is that? Okay, Did you take the statue so with you? My next report's gonna be a real doozy, huh? I don't think people are going to believe you. Who would believe that? Oh god. No way. I love the little emo on the dialogue box there. That was kind of cute. Why did it break like that? That was weird. I feel like that's all she says. It's got to be like her catchphrase or something. Afterwards, Naomi returned to the Woodland Witch and told her what had happened. But the witch just feigned ignorance, claiming her concoction was just a type of natural sedative. 
the dodgy kind of substance that has somehow skirted the definition of legal. She said she only made it up because Naomi looked so distressed. And it certainly wasn't capable of doing anything as preposterous as turning a person into an animal. According to Pauline, when Naomi saw the townspeople turning into animals, it was actually a hallucination caused by the stress of moving to a brand new place. Hmm, I'm sure. Naturally, Naomi's client wouldn't be happy to receive such a report. I wonder why they are hiding it. And so it seemed Naomi would not be free of her debts anytime soon. Keep your chin up, Naomi. It's okay, Naomi. We'll figure this out together. I'm sure of it. <laughs> so was that the end or can I keep on playing? <laughs> I have no idea. I think this demo is actually quite long, so we might be able to play a bit more. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. It's like a really weird backstory to just like talk about a dog. I don't really get what that, like what the game's going for. I'm kind of confused. I don't know. Okay, we're in the second part of the prologue now. Interesting. So damn slow. All right, time to check my mail. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's have a look. Wow, I got so much mail. Oh my god. Uh, this is Lucy Turner from Morning Bell News. We confirmed that the photos you uploaded match up perfectly with our list. I always knew I could trust you with this delicate research project. Next, we'd like you to investigate a different area. We heard that the happiest town in the world once had a booming tourist industry. But what about now? Our research tells us that there's only one inn, one cafe and one pub in town. Right, yeah, so those are all the like uh, places listed. We'd like you to upload a picture of each establishment to Flamingo. Okay, that seems like an easy enough job. £25 just for that. That seems really, really easy. So yeah, I'm definitely accepting that. That'd be awesome. Okay, today I'm forwarding a mail that was originally addressed to you. Okay, let's see what this is about. I have no idea. Okay, so she, this person wants me to investigate some shrines. So this looks like another like uh, side objective or something. Okay, yesterday you sent me a mail that only said full moon. Oh my god, did you send it by accident? <laughs> that would be a very confusing message to send, of course. We're going to do that one later, I think. All right, what else we got? We safely received a report and immediately had our historical department Perform an investigation on the statue in the church's bell tower. They determine that it's a statue of the goddess Britannia. I see. Ooh, okay. I like that there's some like little like history and information about that statue that we picked up so we can really understand what it was about. Okay, since it was reduced to ash beyond... But since it was reduced to ash due to forces beyond our control, I suppose there's nothing more we can do. Please try and protect our world's valuable pieces of history a little bit better. Why am I getting the blame for this? <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Lucy actually went to the trouble of summarising someone else's email. This Dr. Anderson guy must be a royal pain in the butt. And now she wants me to go investigate a shrine? I feel like I saw something that might fit the bill when I woke up on the hill. Well, whatever. No points in worrying about stuff. First, I need to pick up my new camera. Oh, we're getting a new camera. Then I can worry about searching for some weird pagan shrine. I'm more curious about the new camera that the great and powerful Morning Bell was kind enough to send me. I bet it's a state-of-the-art mirrorless camera with high-speed autofocus. That is um, quite high expectations you've got there, Naomi. <laughs> I wonder what kind of lens it's got. Uh, I feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. Oh, she's getting so excited. Bless her. I love that. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. I think I'm going to read the rest of my messages because I didn't quite get to read of them, read all of them. 
Top of the morning to you. If you keep walking east from Rainy Woods, you'll find yourself in a tiny fishing village. Ooh, okay, nice. So lucky you, dear reader, that you should get to find out about it in this newsletter. Okay, and they also have fish and chips over there as well. Very nice, we should visit that place. Hello, bakers, and welcome to the Rainy Woods Info Hub's special feature on Happy Scones. Have you had the chance to try one of Mrs. Jan, Yan, Jan Yi's happy scones? Where have you been? Warm, crumbly, and not a soggy bottom in sight. Oh, that sounds so good. We should go over there. So that's an advertisement for that. I see, I see. Oh, should we get our money? Let's get, let's get our funds for today. We've got quite a nice amount of money there. I am absolutely starving, so we should make something to eat for sure. Should we make another jacket potato? I don't think we can make much else. I can't make that. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Let's have a little look here. Hmm, there's some, like, fish and stuff here. Catfish slices. I wonder if there's fishing in this game. Ooh, I can make Naomi's special salad. The key to survival for any New Yorker, even if it's just a bunch of veggies randomly thrown together. Let's make it. We haven't made this dish just yet, so that'd be great. There we go. Critical success. Why does it have weird little symbols over it? Uh, confusing. Is it bad, do you think? Oh no. Let's eat it. See how she reacts. Okay, well, it seemed like she liked it, so that's good. Wait, I'm still on 8%. That didn't really fill me up very much, did it? <laughs> no, can I cook anything else? Let's see, Naomi's big salad. Let's make that. Oh I, oh, I don't have the cauliflower, so I can't make that. I can make another jacket potato. Is there anything else? There should be like a feet, like a um, a thing. Oh, there we go. So you can just see all, like, all the recipes that you can cook. That is handy, so that's good. <laughs> okay, jacket potato. Alrighty, let's eat this. This should help. There we go. That helped a little bit. I think I'll go and visit some like cafes and stuff like that as well to help fill up Naomi's hunger meter. That would be, that'd be fantastic actually. Just being a bit stealthy. <laughs> being a ninja <laughs> right now. Okay, let's have a little look. All right, so the quest is to investigate the shrine on the hill, but I would like to do the side quest first. I think the quest that we're on isn't urgent, right? No, it's just a main story quest, so it's fine. It doesn't need to be done like straight away, so we can do it anytime. So I think I'm just gonna leave that for a little bit, actually. I think that would that would be great. Okay, I'm out of stamina. No, <laughs> that's okay. We actually need some like meat from the uh, from the mouse for a recipe. So I'm gonna try and get him. There we go. I didn't get it. I just got the small animal hide again. I wonder how you actually get meat from the the like ma mice in this game. I've got no idea. All right, I found some sage. So we need to take a picture of this building here. I think so let's take a picture that's a nice picture actually mushroom and Evans and the downer hotel well mushroom and Evans is here I don't know where the hotel is though I actually have no idea where that is let's have a look oh okay it's just down here it's just down this way luckily it's kind of marked on the map so that's good oh it's like quite like close as well so that's great how come I can't get a good shot? It's not coming up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you have to get the little green symbol on it. So I was trying to like get that on it like before I took it. So basically that side quest is done now. So let's go and turn that in. Let's warp home. An hour's worth of energy is fine. I think that's pretty good. Like that's a good payoff, you know, <laughs> definitely. Okay, let's go back home and we'll start uploading these photos. And did I see that we had mail? I should probably check, check the mail. Oh no, we don't, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, well, let's upload these pictures. So we got the Downer Hotel. So let's upload that one. Uh, we're going to upload another one. So you can do five uploads at a time, which is interesting to know. Let's upload the pub and the mushroom and Evans. There we go. Do you think we should just upload some more pictures just like whilst we're here? A <laughs> scary, spooky scarecrow. <laughs> Why not? Uh, we've got different things that are trending right now. Potted herbs laundry on a sunny day soft sofas kind of random 
stuff that's trending to be honest with you I kind of want to upload this picture because she's just kind of a little bit crazy for sure I love how that when you put multiple things up to upload the uh, like it takes longer to upload some of the other like files because of course when you of course when you do upload multiple videos it does take longer than do, doing just one so I love that like tiny little feature that they've added in there it really makes it feel more realistic I think that's very very cool that they've done that so there's our first upload target done we just have to wait for the uploads to finish let's take a nice shower whilst we're waiting because why not I feel like I haven't had a shower in a couple of days in this game <laughs> I feel so refreshed. Yay! Very nice indeed. All right, and there we go. Our photos are done. We got extra £25. <laughs> so now, of course, we, we just have the Investigate the Shrine quest now. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, Um, we failed to find any di discrepancies between the accounting information and the actual appearances of the three establishments. I suppose if it was really that easy to uncover the dark secrets of the happiest town in the world, our investigative team would have already finished this job by right. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. So now I need to take a picture of three different characters. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that. I love how many side quests there are in this game. <laughs> it's so cool that um, they actually l let you tackle some side quests in the uh, the actual like prologue. So cool in the demo, I mean. So that's awesome. <laughs> very, very cool indeed. Let's go and tackle that for sure. All right. Oh, are my things done? I planted a potato seed. Let's harvest them. Yay. Our crops are done. That's so cool. Do I have anything to plant? I have sage seeds let's plant those as well so obviously it looks like the farming aspect of this game is extremely simple there's really not much to do when it comes to farming it's definitely not the focus of the game and that is completely fine uh, i'm happy that it's in here but yeah like it doesn't need to be super complicated or anything there's so much going on in this in this game so i'm quite happy with that let's plant the rosemary as well there we go and we just have to like basically wait a day i don't think okay yeah I don't have anything else I just wanted to make sure okay so we got to take a picture of all these different characters and I have no idea who they are so that's going to be a, a challenge I think they should have made like a little area where you could like see all the townspeople in your menu and like have a little description of them I think that would have been so cool but sadly it doesn't really look like they they have anything like that in the menu but I would have loved to have seen something like that included in the game actually just to make it a little easier to learn who the characters are in this game um, especially with some of the more minor ones that would have been really really helpful but I don't really know who these people are so <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet um we should maybe visit some places we haven't been so maybe in here camera mart is this where we get like camera upgrades she said something about getting a new camera actually so can I get one I don't know kind of want to there's nobody in here right now it doesn't look like they're open sadly oh well it was worth a try <laughs> It was worth a little look around. Okay, well, let's see here. Maybe we'll just do the main story for now because we might open up some more locations if we do do that. So let's investigate the shrine on the hill. So where exactly is that? Oh, it looks like I just have to go. Wait, I just went in there. <laughs> Are you kidding? There was nobody in. There was nobody in there when I went in there. Oh my gosh. Is it because I didn't have the quest activated? Are we magically in here now? Fair enough. <laughs> okay. So you're the fancy photographer from the city, eh? I got your order. Oh good. Let's cut right to the chase then. Here you are. I finished tuning her up. So she's all ready to go. Alright. An old standard camera. Okay, no special features, but it can get most jobs done. It's old though, so I'll need to be careful. Okay. This is a used Seriously? camera. God damn it. Morning Bell could easily buy me a brand new one with all the money they're hoarding. You got a free house, like, geez. <laughs> all right, all right. No need to get your knickers in a twist about it. I prefer the term refurbished, and she'll do a bloody good job. How can you complain about such a cutie pie? C cutie pie 
That's right, gadgets are all cute in their own ways, especially delicate, complicated sweeties like that camera. <laughs> oh my god, he's a real camera enthusiast, you can definitely see that. <laughs> now, don't worry, I'll be here to fix her if she ever gets any bumps, bruises or upsets of any kind, so be nice to her, with, will you? She's your work partner now. Trying to guilt trip me, huh? <laughs> Fine, whatever, I'll see how far I can get with this lady <laughs> now you're talking <laughs> okay you can purchase cameras and lenses at john's shop and equip different cameras at any time by pressing the uh little dash button i don't know what it's called start button i guess i don't know if you want a telephoto lens to capture faraway things and a wild and a wide angle lens to capture more subjects at once. Used cameras are cheap, but they also break easily. When that happens, you have to get John to fix it for you. Oh, what a pain in the butt, but okay. <laughs> I guess that like adds to it, gives us something to do. All right, so I'm here to shop. Let's see what he's selling. Oh my God, they're so expensive. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, you can get upgrades here and all kinds of stuff. So that's really cool that you can like upgrade your cameras, cameras and that kind of stuff. I, I really like that. Gives you something to work towards. Okay, uh, let's chat. Oh my God, I'm vibrating. What's happening? <laughs> hey there, shutter nutter, out to work again. You sure like to keep yourself busy. Indeed, indeed. All right, well... I think we got a small camera upgrade there, so that was nice, I guess. Now we can go and take that picture of that shrine, right? That'd be great. Okay, how far away is it? Oh boy, it's all the way up there. <laughs> That's gonna take a little bit to get to huh but that's okay i do actually want to spend some time with the villagers as well at some point but for now let's just continue with the actual objective i keep forgetting about the actual stamina maybe it would be faster to like turn into the cat to like like you know run around with i feel like the cat might be like slightly faster but it might just be like um just like a figment of my imagination because the animation looks faster but is it actually faster i don't know <laughs> that's a hard one to judge right okay we gotta go quite a little way up here what do i have here i got some rosemary seeds yay it would be cool once we have like stuff planted in like every like bed that'd be cool oh my god it's a hedgehog let's turn back and we're gonna take a picture oh my gosh how cute such a cutie so cute turn around i want a good picture i i wanna i want to get some money off of you oh my gosh it's so hard to get a good picture. It's so hard to get a decent one. <laughs> I'm like a really close up. I didn't seem to be able to. Okay, time to kick it. <laughs> I'm sorry, hedgehog. I'm sorry. I gotta kick you to get all the valuables out of you. <laughs> Feel so bad doing that, but you know, <laughs> it's just part of part of the game. What's this? A quail. Take a picture of that, and then we'll start doing the kicking what do we get quail meat very nice very nice there's some nice ingredients there can i go through this gate apparently it's gonna cost me 10 pounds to open this gate oh wow there's a toll box right there okay i guess we'll pay i suppose well just a way to make us spend money i guess the land surrounding rainy woods has been sectioned off by stone walls in order to prevent nosy people from wandering around where they shouldn't be when you get past a wall, you first need to locate its checkpoint. Then all you need to do is pay the necessary toll and you'll be free to pass. Then all you need to do is pay the necessary toll and you'll be free to pass. Seeing as how you're the only one who's going trudging through other people's land, don't you feel it's the polite thing to do? No? <laughs> I feel like I should be able to go past for free. <laughs> I want freebies. <laughs> okay, how do I get where I'm trying to go? Oh my gosh, can we take a picture of the bees? That'd be kind of cool. Scary bees. Can we kick them? What would happen? Oh my gosh, they actually hurt you. They actually take away your life. <laughs> Have to be very careful about that. Oh my gosh, is this the part where you can ride the sheeps? Would it let me? I don't know, but I've got to try it. I've got to try it. Okay, there's one right here. There's a couple here. Oh, so cool. Let's take a picture of this little guy. There we go. Can I ride you? Let me on. I know it's a thing. Oh, I kicked it. Oh my god, it's attacking me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's kill the sheep. <laughs> Can you 
actually kill it? What happens? Oh my gosh. I think it's like a boss battle or something. Let's try. Let's keep trying. I feel like its health is going down. Yeah, its health is going down. Let's keep going. <laughs> I got down one block of health already. If you just keep attacking like this, he doesn't seem to be able to move. He's a noisy sheep, isn't he? Oh my gosh. I'm so evil. This game lets you do such evil things. <laughs> It really does. Oh my gosh. Let's see what happens. Will he faint? Will he give me ingredients? We'll have to see. This is so violent. <laughs> so violent right now. It's worse than GTA. <laughs> okay, we're nearly there. Oh, take care of your health. The stomach item icon on the top. Oh, we're hungry. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I'll have to keep an eye on that. So she'll collapse. The sheep. Oh, I thought he like disappeared. Wait, what's going on? Where'd the sheep go? Hey now, you're not allowed to go past this part in the demo. Huh, did I say something weird just now? Oh well, it's just a demo, who cares? What? <laughs> no, I got so far in beating the sheep up and then it like put me back again. <laughs> what? What did I just tell you? Can't go, I was over there. I was over there a second ago and now it's telling me that I can't go there anymore. What? That's not fair. Wow. <laughs> That sucks. Okay, it looks like I can't do that. We'll have to try it in the main game though. <laughs> I had a good... I, I got to beat up some sheeps for a little while though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Uh. so how do I get... I was actually trying to get to this objective and it didn't quite work out, did it? But maybe we should, we should probably go to the town and get some food because we are so, so hungry that we are going to collapse. Um very soon if we're not careful so yeah we need to I'm getting hungry need food or i'll blow a fuse i know i know you're hungry naomi i'll make sure to get you some grub just bear with me a second there's not much i can do right now wait don't i have some in my inventory yeah eat that let's eat that scone there you go luckily i had something it doesn't restore much though so we're definitely gonna have to you know get something proper but that would do just to give us some energy to get to our destination for sure i am so gutted that it like blocks you off from that sheep place even though like i was already in there <laughs> The game caught on to me. The game knew that I wasn't supposed to go in there. <laughs> Naughty multi. <laughs> Oopsie, it's fine. It's all good. I just wish that it would have let me get that sheep down to, to the last bit of health because I was so close. <laughs> I was so close. Okay, hello. Oh my gosh. Where are you guys going? I don't even know. Okay, I am starving, so feed me. We need to eat something. Let's have some flapjacks. That will be nice. There we go. Lovely. Uh, seeing, see you again. Okay, so let's... Uh, should we... Can we take a picture of it? Is that a thing you can do? Oh, cool. You can take a picture of it. And then, like, post it as well. All right. Uh, max stamina boost. That actually didn't increase my hunger, though. Is there anything else that's, like, a little bit more fulfilling? Let's see. This is large stomach satiation. So I'm going to go for this cottage pie. It's a bit more expensive, but it should fill me up nice and good. Actually, let's take a picture. It looks delicious. It looks yummy. Let's eat that as well. Oh, yeah, that put me up to 77%. So that was fantastic, actually. That was great. Okay, now we're going to try and make our way to the shrine at last. Um, I think maybe this way would be better. I'm trying to work out the best way. Yeah, up this pathway I think would be better. So we'll go up here. Um, it looks like I got quite a few buffs from like eating in the cafes as well, which is kind of cool that you can get like loads of little buffs and stuff for eating too. I really like that. That's very cool indeed. Okay, it doesn't look like my like, um, tiredness meter goes down too quickly that seems to go down really slow from what i can tell and also the health as well i i haven't really come across anything that really like hurts me apart from bees and sheep <laughs> the sheep only attacked me because i attacked it though <laughs> it probably wouldn't have attacked me if i hadn't of like you know started it <laughs> so yeah there's probably not like anything too violent there's a bunny I want a picture of the bunny. So cute. All right, time to kick it. I know, I know it's so evil, but 
we have to to get ingredients get back here where did it go i'm so confused oh there it is oh my gosh it's so quick it's so quick it's almost impossible to kick it <laughs> i thought i could oh my gosh i can't kick the rabbit it's getting away Ugh. i don't know if this is possible he's way too quick wait what if we like snuck let's try sneaking let's try sneaking up on this rabbit and then we'll try and kick it <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm not sure if he's noticed me. Oh, he noticed me. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I don't know how you're meant to do that. There must be a way. Maybe you can like bait it or something, but I can't figure it out and I'm too slow to, to get it. So I'm not sure right now. Hello, there's a random dude up here. How are you how doing? Are you I'm George, a medical practitioner and veterinarian. So you're like two doctors in one, huh? I bet you're loaded. Just so you know, I already have a partner named Rita. There's no point going after me. <laughs> Too bad. Either way, I'll probably still need your help when I get sick, Doc. Okay, let's see if he's got anything else. Just go home for tonight. All right, then. Let's have a little look here. Let's check this shrine. This is our main story objective, mm, so, so let's this try is it. A shrine. Interesting. Very interesting. Nope, I'm stumped. These are probably cats and dogs, huh? And... That's like a full moon or a new moon, maybe. A shrine dedicated to cats, dogs, and moons. It smells like a mystery, all right. It does indeed. It looks so old, though. As old as Stonehenge? Nah, it can't be that old. Yeah, I know what this is. I remember hearing about it in art class. That's it. Celtic. This is Celtic style. Wait, no. Maybe it isn't. Oh, whatever. It looks Celtic, so it's Celtic. End of story. Now to hurry up and snap a shot of it so I can send it off already. Okay, let's do that. That'd be great. Uh, cat dog shrines exist all over Rainy Woods. So this is like a collectible, I guess. If you make an offering at a shrine, it will initiate you. It will... Oh, it's a fast travel point. Ah, yes. Just what I was after. Like, I feel like it, something would be missing if this wasn't in the game. So I am so happy that they actually have a shrine. Oh my god, she's so creepy. I swear to god, she's everywhere. <laughs> Such a creepy lady. When did you get here, girl? When somebody stands in the middle of Stonehenge, where do they actually stand? What? Inside Stonehenge? Or outside? That makes no sense. And that's alright. You can barge into someone's living room all you like, but that won't teach you anything there is to know about them. That's all I'm trying to say. You're a cryptic one, alright. But now that you're here, girl, mind telling me what went down that night? You know, the night when everyone in town got together and decided to have some freaky cat and dog party? How come you were the only one who didn't join in? Mm -hmm. My, that's a strange question to ask. Oh, then let me be frank. I was hired to come here and uncover all the dark secrets you're hiding in this little town. So just tell me the truth. You know about... You know about all this town's mysteries and secrets, don't you? <laughs> You're rather direct, aren't you, Miss Hayward? Mm. But I can't tell you just yet. After all, you haven't made the necessary preparations. What does that mean? <laughs> what do I need to do? Why, it's simple. Just bring me what I need. One rubber sheet, two pieces of patchwork leather. What? That's really random. You want me to go find that stuff for you? Sharp as always, Miss Hayward. Well, of course I'm sharp. You think an idiot could survive New York? You should be able to have the materials crafted for you at Muck Avery Construction. I'll finish that stupid fetch quest before you know what hit you. Music to my ears. I knew I could count on you. Okay, then. <laughs> Intriguing. I wonder what she wants us to do with all these items. Um, we'll have to find out, right? I'm very curious. Okay, so if we check this, you feel a strange aura. What do you want to do? Oh, let's make a dog offering. Make an offering of a... Oh, yeah, let's, let's make a dog offering. Plus two to dog. I want to be a dog. <laughs> okay, what's this oracle button? What the hell? Why am I hearing voices in my head? Uh, okay. Uh, what? I... 
don't know what that did. I got free money or something. <laughs> I'm so confused. I can't hear anything. Maybe I should cut. Oh, you maybe you could just like get random money from it. Like for whatever reason. Yeah, I can't do any more. But yeah, that's um that's kind of weird, but sure. What um what did I have to who did I have to get? Douglas, John, and Virginia. So I have to keep in mind that I have to take pictures of those. Are those all the shrines? Those like little purple, yeah, those are the shrines, all the like glowy little symbols. Wow, there's quite a lot of collectibles to get in this game as well then, which is really cool. Uh, they'd definitely be like worthwhile getting, I think. They're marked on the map as well, as you can see, um, but we don't have all of those, of course. But yeah, that's going to be some collectathon. <laughs> there's quite a few there for sure. But that's actually really cool. I like that there's like multiple objectives and stuff to do. This game is quite a bit more in depth than I was thinking that it was going to be. So I think that's really, really cool. I really like that. Okay, what is going on now? I think the cutscenes look a little bit jarring compared to the rest of the game though. Like they don't look as clear as the actual game, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe they'll you know make that look a little bit better in the full release i do not know but they don't look too great compared to the actual the game the game looks pretty decent i would say you know graphically it's um it's fine <laughs> not the touch the textures are a little bit rough around the edges in some places but this i think maybe it was designed for the switch in mind so that could be the reason why but i think that you know it doesn't really matter too much oh that's so cute cute doggy fluffy chow chow <laughs> you're so cute can i take a picture of you i want to take a picture of your little doggy wait 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 wait. that was such a good shot there we go oh so cute i love that so much <laughs> okay i'm gonna check that i got a sandy caterpillar okay nice an innocent border collie there's so many i love seeing them all turning into little little animals like look at that that's so awesome i love that so much cat with glasses oh <laughs> so cute oh you get like points towards like cat and dog depending on like who you interact with which is actually like kind of cool i like that i like that um so what was i doing uh probably can't do it because like it's um night time and everyone's turned into animals right so we probably can't do the main story quest right now I can play with the, the little pets and stuff. Very, very cute. Uh, I guess we would just go to bed. I think we should maybe just go to bed for now because there's not too much we can do. We can't really interact with the townspeople because they are pets, of course. So there's not too much that we can really accomplish here right now. So yeah, I think I'm just going to head to to bed. I think that would that would be great. First time we've actually done it as well. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Like maybe nothing, but... Uh, we can save the game here. I haven't saved it. <laughs> when you start to get sleep sleepy, you should get some shut-eye in a bed or tent. Whenever Naomi sleeps, the game will save. Okay, cool. We should probably save it. Let's save it. Uh, I think it just auto-saved, right? Uh, let's go for like six hours. We'll wake up about 6 a.m. Oh my god, she snores. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is the worst. <laughs> okay, let's look. I don't think we have any clothes right now. I can't wait to get some like clothes and stuff like that. That'll be so cool. Let's get some beauty care done. Very nice. Hey, look at my health. I seem to have a lot of health right now, which is really cool. Let's do some cooking. Let's see what I can make. I'm just gonna make another jacket potato. I think that would be great just to give us a little bit of food here put this on the table so I can eat it there you go very nice all right I'm gonna upload some pictures so that we can make a little bit of money that'd be great what should we do let's do this little dog so I think the dog looks super cute so let's do that um I don't really think I took like any pictures that are like trending but I'm just gonna upload like 
just the random pictures that I've got right now. I got quite a lot, so I'm just going to upload whatever I've got here. There we go. Lovely. That should get us a little bit of money, so I think that'll be worth it. So yeah, that'll be awesome. Okay, maybe our plants would be done. They probably would be today, actually, so I think I'll go and check those out as well. I planted a sage seed. Okay, cool. Is there anything I can do? It doesn't look like they're done. I'm surprised. I thought that they would be, but apparently not. <laughs> That's all right, though. Okay, let's have a look here. I would love to continue with this quest line, actually. We need to go to the construction. What time do they open, though? Like, I actually have no idea what time they actually open. It might be a little bit too early. I keep forgetting about my stamina <laughs> that it runs out. <laughs> it can be a bit of a pain. But it's over here. This is the construction site. I actually did go over here before, but I didn't actually, like, manage to fully explore it. An armoured cat! Oh my god, that looks amazing. He's like got armor and everything. That is really cool. I want to take a picture of you. <laughs> Very cool. What time do you open, man? <laughs> it's nearly eight. I'm hoping that it opens very soon but we'll see. Okay, there we go. It must be eight o'clock. So eight o'clock is when like the townspeople turn back from cats then, I guess. Which makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, wow, you're an actual armoured guy. Wow, that is, uh, that is interesting. Okay, let's take a picture of him. He looks awesome. I love that. He's like he's role-playing. Good day, I am Douglas... Good day, I am Douglas Muck Avery, the premier carpenter of this hamlet. Hi, you've got a pretty squeaky voice considering how big that armour is. Whippin' wouldst only serve to harass my neighbours, I fear. I need only thine eyes yeah. now. The path we shall walk shall be a long and arduous one. Prithee, lend me thy strength, Naomi Hayward. What a weirdo. Okay, uh, may I help you? Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, there's so many options. Let's see what he's selling. Let's see, he's got a pickaxe. Oh wow, so cool. Nuggets and lots of different things. Can I buy this? Um, no, not this. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want the pickaxe. Can I, can I have it? It's only 30, so we could definitely buy that. That would be awesome. Okay, let's have a little look. I want to decorate my garden. I shall spare no blood, sweat, or tears until I complete thy order. <gasps> look how many things you can buy. You can buy so many things. A beach ball, parasols, little plants. Although you can get these plants for free. I already like nicked one for my garden <laughs> like earlier, so that's kind of cool. It looks like you need materials to be able to do it as well, so I can't actually like buy any right now. But that's cool. You can actually buy materials as well. Uh, yeah, um, so I need to buy rubber sheet patchwork leather for my quest. In order to craft thy rubber sheet, I will need turbid sap. I think I might have found those. Patchwork leather, I shall require small animal hides. I think I might have some of those already. Yes, I do. So that's great. So let's buy that. There we go. I shall embark on processing the rubber sheet forthwith. <laughs> He's so strange. I love it. <laughs> you really are a pro. Oh, right. I got what I needed. Here be the object of thy desire. <laughs> Thanks, man. I've never seen someone actually make rubber before. <laughs> okay, cool. I got the first item. So that is awesome. And I also need some patchwork leather as well, right? So let's make this. I think I need two of them. So let's make two. Um, luckily, I have been thoroughly exploring enough. So that's good. Okay, there we go. Let's make this. Let's do some crafting. There's so much, th so many things to explore in this game. We've got like crafting and decorating your house and cooking and socializing and taking photos and uploading them. There's so many things to do. I love it. Wow, you really are a pro. Alrighty, so did I get my items? Here is the object of my desire. <laughs> Lovely, so is my quest done? My quest is done. Alright, now I just have to report my findings to Elizabeth and she is just up here, so let's go find her. Humans and dogs 
just don't move fast enough to catch nimble little animals and birds, which leaves you only one choice. Press LT as a cat and activate. Oh, okay. So that's how you get some of the, that's how you get the meat from, from that like rat. I was wondering, because every time I kicked it, it just gave like animal like hide. So I was really wondering how you actually got the meat from it. So that makes total sense. That's actually really cool, actually. Okay, well, let's turn this in and see what happens. Elizabeth is here. Have you found everything? I have. What do you need all this stuff for anyway? I'd like to use these materials to make a pair of light, durable shoes. Ooh, preparing for an adventure. They need to be a size five, but I suppose in American sizes that would be a five and a half. What? But my shoe size is seven and a half. Anyway, I need a pair of size five shoes that are light and durable. Okay, whatever, silly me expecting you ever explain anything. You can get light and durable shoes made at Fancy and Bunny. Okay, that's a new place, haven't been there yet. Once I'm finished with this fetch quest, you better spill the beans. Okay, okay, let's see. So we're just gonna go down and get some random shoes. <laughs> maybe it will like make us go faster, or maybe it'll make us fly. <laughs> I have no idea. Kind of reminds me of like running shoes from the Pokemon games actually. But we'll see what happens. I am intrigued and it's a brand new location. We haven't been into this shop before. So yeah, it'd be really cool to, to go inside and see what we get. It looks like a stationery shop of some kind. At least that's what it said on the door. So uh, it's interesting that they make shoes as well actually. Oh, look at the little sheep. Oh, I love that. I want some of those. Do you think I could decorate my house with stuff like that? Like, that would be so, so cool. That would be awesome. Another stuffed sheep there. So many. <laughs> it must be, like, the staple of the town, like, sheep or something. I have no idea. Don't seem to be able to, like, look on to any other items, really. Okay, let's have a look. Stationery over there. Very cool. Oh wow, we can go down here as well. Is this a clothing shop too? Can I buy clothes? Stylish clothes. Love it. Love it. And there's a, a wardrobe and like a changing room there it looks like. Very cool and a cute little laptop. It's a bit random but okay. Well anyway, let's talk to oh, the shopkeeper. Oh, this is the person I need the picture of. I'm Virginia Yeats. I run Funny and Bunny, a little shop that sells knickknacks. I'm actually a tailor though. If you just bring me the materials, I can stitch together whatever you like. Now don't forget, Virginia Yeats is this town's number one tailor. I'm especially busy from midnight to early morning, so you better not come knocking during that time. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess we should take a picture of her. She looks very pretty. Oh. Alright, what are you waiting for? Do you need something? I need clothes. Yes, I'd love to buy some clothes. That'd be so oh. cool. Okay, let's buy some. I need a pair of light and durable shoes. Light and durable? In what size? Five. You look like you're around a size seven. How do you know that just by looking? <laughs> they need to be size five. I've made some pairs of light and durable shoes before. Okay, I reckon I still have the design for my special running shoes. Okay, oh look at all the things that you can get, but of course you need the materials for it uh, So it doesn't look like you'll be able to do anything here And it also looks like they all give buffs and stuff as well. So that's really really cool. All right Let's buy these special running shoes. I suppose And we'll see what what happens next. Wow, you really are a pro. Thanks for waiting That was really quick <laughs> These shoes look so cool! If you created your own brand and sold those online, you could probably make a killing! Oh. I thought about it, but it's a lot of effort with the trademarks, logos, registrations and the like. I don't think I could ever go to all that extra trouble just for the sake of making some extra money. What a waste. Making money is super important, you know. Seriously. And I don't disagree with you, but keeping my life stress-free is more important to me. Fair enough. <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm happy to make clothing and shoes for you, so long as you bring your orders to me here. I don't think I'll need any new clothes in order to research a town like this, but I'll keep that in mind. By the way, these shoes are for Elizabeth, right? Seriously? How'd you figure that out? 
Someone young enough to wear my special running shoes, unashamed and with size five feet. <laughs> Elizabeth's the only one in town that comes to mind. You nailed it. This isn't the first time she's ordered these shoes either. What do you mean? Are you trying to say she has multiple pairs of the exact same type of shoe? I've never once seen her wearing them though. Hmm, that's weird. She always ends up seeing she always ends up giving them away to someone else. You think she's got a bone to pick with me? Uh, not like I care. Hmm. That is weird. No, no, this won't do. Tailors aren't supposed to pry into their customers' orders. How here, here are your special running shoes, just as ordered. Make sure Elizabeth gets them. Yeah, Leave it to me. Alrighty, got what we were after, so that's great. Uh, once you buy the total quality, once you buy the total quantity of an item that's available for sale, it will become out of stock. But don't worry, they'll eventually restock their wares after some time passes. Just check back in when you have some time. Okay, cool. That sounds like a plan, actually. Can we go in the wardrobe? Ooh. Oh, okay. I got nothing to change into, sadly. <laughs> um, I'm here to shop. Oh, you can buy stuff here. Oh, cool. Oh, this passes time as well. Okay, some weird seeds. Oh my gosh, there's so many things to buy. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. You can buy marshmallows as well. <laughs> Very cool. So many items. So many items indeed. All right. Um, I'm not sure. Should I buy something? I want to buy some weird seeds and see what they grow into maybe that would be really cool to do I don't quite know shall we buy some of these like random plants I want this daisy seed I think that looks really cute actually and I'm gonna buy some of these materials like right at the top and see if if I buy some of these if I'll be able to like buy some like new outfits or something I'll just buy one of each and see if it allows me to to like buy some clothes that'd be awesome let's have a look is there anything that i can get now uh no oh <laughs> i thought that maybe i could wait if i buy two more cotton fabrics i could buy i could actually buy some stuff um actually and two more of those for a baseball cap i guess i could get a couple of things i might get the bucket hat that looks kind of cute and hmm, hmm i guess i could get the blouse maybe it's okay not like too much choice here but there is a couple of things that you can get actually they're expensive though so not quite sure how much we'll be able to do i'll just buy two of those wait oh they only have like three in stock so uh you can't actually like you know buy out tons of stuff um <laughs> when you first start playing i guess that makes sense they want you to get over time right uh so we could get a blouse we could get these trousers oh my gosh those look huge those trousers i really want the the bucket hat i really like the look of this bucket hat so i'm gonna buy that that'd be really cool okay let me see if there's anything else i can get can i get a shirt too I don't know if it's going to let me... Ah, oh, keep clicking on the wrong thing. <laughs> no, I'm being too quick. All right, let's have a look. Can I... Oh, I can't buy anything else now. I could buy um the baseball cap, but that's about it, Um, sadly. I guess I'll buy it just so we could see what it looks like, I suppose. So that'll be cool. Let's go try it on. Let's go see what she looks like with it on. So there's the cap and there's the baseball hat. I really love that. I think that really suits her, actually. I really like that. And it also saves stamina as well. So it actually has like a bonus to equipping it. Look how cute she looks. I think she looks great. <laughs> I really like it. And her hair doesn't clip into it too badly either. A little bit when she's walking. But it's not as bad as what it could be. So yeah, I, I actually quite like that. That's cool. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so we just need to deliver the running shoes to this lady, right? So let's do that. That should be really cool, actually. And make sure that she's got her shoes. It's really mysterious how she's giving it to someone else, though. I wonder who she's giving it to. Somebody with really small feet as well, I suppose. Although saying that, my, my shoe size is actually four, so... <laughs> I guess that's bigger than mine. <laughs> Definitely. Let's see what she says. Anyways. Here you go. One pair of Virginia special running shoes. 
These really are a fancy and bunny original. I bet these are comfy enough to make anyone want to hop around like a bunny. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll look great on you too. <laughs> Thank you. However, I'd like you to hold on to them for the time being, Miss Haywood. I'll need them eventually, but until then I'd like you to take care of them for me. Sure, if that's what you want. But you'd better tell me about the town's secrets now. Oh yes, I'll keep my promise. But... But what? We can't talk here. After all, they might hear us. They? <laughs> Didn't take you for the paranoid type. What's next? Big Brother is watching? Let's meet in the town square at 11 p.m. Hey! She's gone. 11 p.m. in the town square. First, I have to get her shoes, and now she wants me to go on a late night date. Talk about pushing it. She's very demanding, right? <laughs> okay, I got a strange crest handkerchief. It has a pretty crest on it. I wonder what it means. Hmm, so, so mysterious for sure. Okay, oh, this is an urgent one as well. So I have to make sure that I meet her at 11 o'clock. Do you think she'll tell us everything we need to know? Let's turn into a kitty and see if we can hop on this little guy, see what we get. I got hedgehog meat. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure if like I had that or not. Like I honestly have no idea to be honest with you. So I guess we're just going to be chilling out until 12 o'clock. We could go to bed, but I think we should spend some time with the villagers. Just kind of like check out what's going on in the town and just see maybe we could find the people for my side quest because I still haven't quite done that. So let's see charlotte and who is this guy he's got an exclamation mark on him for some or he did i don't know wait what's that oh is this like trending is this trending is that why it's on there okay that might have been like a trending item or something yeah potted herbs it's trending so that's why oh that's kind of cool that it like marks like the trending things so you can see what is like a good item to take a picture of so yeah that's really really cool i'm gonna take a picture of this one as well that'd be great there's so many of them around here which is great let's take a picture of that one and this one we're gonna make so much dough it's gonna be amazing and another one down here too lovely oh can i take this one uh that doesn't count apparently but this one does so that's great shall we see if we can take any of these home with us maybe i'm gonna take this home with me <laughs> this is now mine and you can't do anything about it oh, i can't walk home with it oh i can't take this home it's a bit too big i suppose <laughs> but i did manage to take a couple of things home with me last time let's see can i take this home no unless i like walked all the way home i guess but i don't know doesn't really seem worth it it seems like a big trek so i think i'll leave that one Let's maybe see, hmm, I don't see any more that we can take with us though. What about this like really tiny one? This is really cute as well. Can I take this? Oh, I could walk home with a pot last time. I did walk home with a pot. Oh, I can't walk home at all. That's probably why. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's something to do with the quest or something. I just left that pot like right in the middle of the road. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if maybe we could go into like some shops or something like that. That would be great. This is Mrs. Jan's house. Oh, I found a weird feather apparently. What's this over here? There's so many items. My god, I feel like a little bit like overwhelmed with like just the sheer amount of items that you can get. Wasn't laundry? Yeah, laundry was a thing. Oh my god, there's a chicken! Hello, Mrs. Jasmine. Oh, I is named. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. All right. Oh, there's a rat. Let's turn into the cat and we'll pounce on this little guy over here. There we go. And we got small animal hide. I was hoping to get meat, but unfortunately i didn't get what i was after so that sucks a little bit all right let's see who these peoples are uh do i need pictures of you i don't think so can i buy from you she's got scones do you want something i'm here to shop 
you something my love oh you can buy scones here oh my gosh they all look so good i have to buy one um i'm gonna go for the maple syrup one that looks so nice yummy yummy i'm guessing it would just like go into my inventory yeah that just goes in my inventory somewhere i think oh my god i've got so many items so yeah i've got maple syrup scone very very nice very nice indeed okay who do i need for my side quest let's have a look virginia douglas and john i really wish i knew who these characters were i honestly have no idea who these characters are to be honest uh oh hello you got a thing on above your head if it isn't mrs hayward how are you doing not bad i ugh, you smell not bad i ugh, you smell like cheap liquor buddy <laughs> oh my you're a funny one come now little lamb surely you don't think a man of the cloth like myself would succumb to such indulgences then what's that ice cold mug doing in your hand this this my little lamb is holy water <laughs> holy water oh my god indeed nothing beats a purified chalice of his very own holy water i drink this divine liquid to cleanse myself of my daily sins no wonder we don't have vicars in the states speaking of which mrs hayward you seem to be a frequent drinker of holy water yourself <laughs> Well, I don't know if you'd call it holy water, but I do like to throw back a strong one now and again. <laughs> back home, they used to call me the Dream Queen. The queen adored by all liquor. What? I'm sorry, little lamb, but I cannot allow that to stand. You see, I myself was once known as the Dream King. <laughs> The king who sucked down all the holy water. It's definitely a special title, only fit for someone who truly values alcohol more than their own life. Holy water is the core of my beliefs. I'd never compare it to my own meager life. Oh my god. This world has no need for two monarchs. Your country's run by a queen, right? Oh my gosh, what are they doing? What do you say to a friendly jewel? Is there actually like a mini game for this? I say bring it on but what are the rules it's just a single it's just a simple drinking contest a true monarch would settle for no yeah. less simple is best I say but I could use a little more motivation how about we bet some cash to make things more interesting the winner takes all so be it when you're ready to challenge me just let me know <laughs> I won't run or hide. Let's settle this fair and square once and for all in the name of God. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, can I, I can't. Apparently I couldn't set that as a quest for like right now. Maybe this quest is too urgent so I can't like tackle side objectives. Which is really sad actually because I really wanted to, to do that. So uh, I'm a bit disappointed that um, I'm not allowed to do that right now. <laughs> but that's okay. There's a butcher shop here. I don't think I've been in this shop and I've still got a while before I can tackle the actual main quest here. Oh, it's this guy. I've met this guy before, but I wasn't sure like what he did. So it's kind of cool to see him. Hello. Need something? Uh, yes, I want to see what you're selling. Bread, tomato seeds. He sells loads of different seeds here. Little packs of seeds as well. Oh, so many things. Oh, I guess you could like make so many recipes with all this stuff. So that's really awesome. Let's chat. How's life treating you? Do you like meat? <laughs> Damn, you're loud. If I had to pick, I'd guess I'd say I'd, I do. Oh, great. So you love meat then? Haha. <laughs> uh, I never said I loved it. Well, since you love meat so much, I'm going to let you help me developing some new recipes. Recipes? Sounds like a pain. Why can't you just develop them by yourself? <laughs> I'm working on a new meat pie to serve as the crown jewel of my shop, but I just can't get it right on my own. And since you're a meat lover, I bet I could use your taste buds to test out what I've been working on. Meat pies? They go well with red wine, right? Oh, and I'll pay you for your trouble and all. Yeah. Well, if you're going to put it that way, then my taste buds are all yours. <laughs> What a crazy man. Good to hear that. I'm counting on you. Now to get started, here's a prototype recipe. Take it and give it a go. Once you've cooked it up properly, give it a taste and run back here and tell me your thoughts. 
Okay, a meaty invention. I can't tackle any of these quests right now though, but he wants me to make him Tommy's meat pie. Um, so we'll have to tackle that later. I wish I could go home and just like fast travel and like go to bed or something because I have to wait such a long time and I can't warp home. Why? Why did they do that? I guess I'll have to walk home, I suppose. My home's not really like that far away. I have to make sure I'm going the right way. It's up this way. So I guess we'll just have to we'll just have to go home and go to bed I guess so, so that we can speed this along a little bit because I can't really do anything else so yeah I think that would be a, a good idea it's not too far to run to so it's it's all good let's make sure that we hit the hay and re-energize for the next day that would be fantastic we have an outdoor kitchen oh that's so cool i didn't know that we had one of those that is really really awesome actually so you don't have to like go inside your house every time you want to cook so i guess that's actually really cool and really handy as well actually i think we should upload some pictures because i got actually quite a lot a lot of like trending pictures congratulations on amassing 200 followers hey we'll pay you a 10 pound and increase your upload max by four yes thank you nice oh look at all that money let's take all that as well all right we're going to unlock we're going to upload the trending stuff because laundry is still trending for for whatever reason and we got quite a lot of pictures of potted plants as well so let's make sure we upload all of those i took quite a few of these pictures as well i think that's about all i can upload right now so now I'm gonna go to bed maybe let's see it's four o'clock now right so six hours should be perfect for our quest so let's maybe sleep for that amount of time that'd be great so yeah it's 10 o'clock now and the main quest is at 11 so yeah that's pretty pretty great I'm gonna upload some more pictures just like before we head out I think that would be great I don't know if potted oh hang on um oh okay <laughs> I have to delete some photographs I guess uh oh gosh I wish there was like a like uh a button where you could just select all the old ones or something that would be great okay let's see here um actually i don't think there's anything else i want to upload but yeah there is a limit to, to how much you can actually upload here oh wow that cat got so many hearts <laughs> so that was great these two are like trending right now so that's awesome love that okay i think we can leave it at that for now actually let's go and meet up with elizabeth because i think it's almost time for that so i'm looking forward to uh, to finding out what this what this mystery is so yes let's do that that'd be great okay my photo is successfully uploaded yay <laughs> very nice very nice oh i'm out of stamina come on naomi you can do this girl you can do this let's go figure out what is going on in this crazy town maybe this lady will finally tell us something i really really hope so but we'll just have to see okay here we are elizabeth let's see what she says to us hey hey girl Follow me and I'll talk. Okay. <laughs> How mysterious. Seriously? How very mysterious. Hey, wait. Wait up. What the hell? Fine, I'll just chase you down. Again. <laughs> Round two of chasing this crazy lady in the wheelchair. <laughs> okay. Let's hope that we can actually, like, keep up with her and uh, she doesn't, like, get away from us because... That would be annoying. There's like a thing in there, but I'd have to go all the way around. Oh, it's the gates closed. So you can't even go in there anyway. So I don't know what that's about. I have no idea. It's a little cute little hedgehog. Okay, I'm ready to find out the mystery that is part of this town. So yeah, that's that's gonna be great. Let's chase her. Alright, okay. What was the point of that like tiny little cutscene? I don't know. Okay, what's this? Ooh, a lustrous black beetle. Was that rare? Oh my gosh, can be used in the concoctions. It's shiny. I wonder if that was like rare or something. Are there rare items in this game? Maybe that is a thing. I have honestly got no idea. Alright, let's go. I really want to uncover the mystery. Let's see if we can find her. I think Elizabeth is quite cute as well. 
I think she's a cute lady. <laughs> but yeah, the town is very unique in this game, definitely. All right, let's see if we can catch up to her. Is she just going to kind of walk off again? I mean, kind of steamroll off, I should say. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, in here. Are we nearly at the destination? Oh my gosh, she's really making me run far, isn't she? It's Wednesday. We're on the next day. All right. Let's see. Where am I going? She's taking me to the middle of nowhere. I'm so confused right now. I don't understand what you want from me, lady. <laughs> so very confusing. All right. But I'll make it. I'll make it. Ooh, is that a quail? I think that could be. Oh, it's a pheasant. All right. Shall we catch it? Let's catch it whilst we're here. Because, like, why not, right? There we go. Oh, what? How did I miss? I targeted it and everything. All right, there we go. Pheasant plume. All right, I've got a nice material there. So that was awesome. Let's continue. Oh, I'm right here. Okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't have to walk all hey, the way down, so that's hold good. Hold on. Come on, lady, have some mercy. I can't keep up. I'm so out of breath. I should have never stopped going to the gym. This sucks. Whoa, oh my God, what, what the hell? Oh boy. Alexis, activate oh, turbo Alexis. mode. Wait, what? Wheelchair, AI, Alexis. Yes, ma'am. Now activated turbo mode. Hey, no fair! Her wheelchair has a feature like that. Uh, uh. Hey, hey, hey. Um, now, Brother Badger, I I've got a proposition for you. Come on, just imagine it for a sec. World without war, huh? Huh? Okay. Okay. You're not the type for talking things. Oh god, is she okay? <laughs> oh no. What was that turbo mode crap? I have no idea. And that psychotic badger. I have no clue. Elizabeth said follow me and I'll talk, but I couldn't even keep up with her, let alone listen to anything she said. Well, this is just great. Now what am I going to do? I have no idea. Maybe we could find her or something. I have no clue. We'll have to figure it out. I guess it's time for some legwork. Legwork's a basic part of any good investigation, at least that's what this one guy said in that Netflix show. Now, who might know something? The woodland witch, the bartender at the pub, and maybe that egomaniac of a writer. I'm pretty sure he said he was Elizabeth's older brother. The question is, is who should I talk to first? So many decisions, so many people to, to chat to, it seems. Okay, I think it just turned like next day, so that's what that is about, it seems. All right. Oh, the urgent quest has been completed. Now on to the main quest. All right. So many characters to talk to, it seems. Wow. Look at all the quests we've already done. So many. <laughs> so many quests and still so many side quests to tackle as well. So that's kind of crazy, actually. That's really, really crazy. Okay, anyway, let's go and uh, tackle these quests and see if we can talk to all these people and see what they say. I'm not sure if we need any photographs of these characters, actually. I'm still trying to, like, hunt down those for the side quests, but still haven't quite, like, you know, found found those characters that um, we need the pictures of, so I've no idea where those are, but that's okay. Let's have a little look here. I guess we'll go down this way, I suppose, and we'll see if we can get to them. Oh, the stamina, it keeps running out. So frustrating. <laughs> that's okay. Shall we get this Get this hedgehog on the way, <laughs> just on the way fast. Couldn't be bothered to turn into the cat to, to, to like get the hedgehog, but yeah, that, that's okay, that's all right. All right, so it looks like we have to go to like the, the little cafe first. So I think I'm going to definitely head over there. That would be really good. Okay, and here we go. All right, so this punk rocker lady. Yo, Rockstar, I got a question for you. It's about Elizabeth blah blah blah. <laughs> wow. 
I guess that makes uh, the conversation a bit faster. Oi, Yank, who do you think you are? Sticking your nose everywhere it doesn't belong? Hold up, you look as though you might know a thing or two about holding your booze like. Which in that case, I might have something to say to you after all. Really? Thanks. You were talking about a ricer with an ego. You must mean Will, right? He's Elizabeth's half-brother, born from another mum. Mr Dickens had him before the family moved here. I don't know Elizabeth all that well, but I get the impression that the two of them are dead close-like. Elizabeth's always looked up to her older brother ever since she was a little girl, and I guess after old Mr Dickens snuffed it, they became even closer. Especially Will. He seems to uh, love his sister, if you catch what I'm saying. It's a bit hard to watch. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so not only is he an egomaniac, he's also got a sister complex. Just how screwed up is that guy? Is that the guy who said he was like God or something? <laughs> it's a queer situation, like, but who are we to judge another family as long as we're getting on? I guess you have a point. Just between you and me, I hear the Dickens siblings like that place across the street better than mine. Mushroom and Evans, I mean. You can't blame them, like. Bruno can put together a banging meal. Oh yeah? I guess I should check out that place too then. Oh right then. Yeah, that could be a good idea actually. Okay, the townspeople in this game are absolutely crackers, but <laughs> I I absolutely love how crazy they are. Oh, it looks like I got to go over there. I really wish that this town wasn't so walled off like everywhere so I could like get around a little easier. It's kind of annoying having to walk like all the way around just to get to like one little segment, but that's okay. I think we could make it wait actually I think I've got to go a tiny bit further up to get to this segment you can kind of tell by the mini map so the mini map is very helpful definitely so I'm so glad that we actually have a mini map so that's so so good all right I think we're kind of close am I going to the right place down there how do you get down there? Oh, there's um stairs. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I've got you. I've got to go this way. This is William's house. He has a very nice house. Very luxurious. All right. I got a rare butterfly ring. Yay. That's awesome. Okay. What are you doing, dude? Writing something. I don't know. Hey. Yo, Ego. I need to ask you something about that sister of yours. Y yo? Hmm? Hello! Damn you! Hey, I'm talking to you, pal! Strikes. Excuse me? <laughs> A perfect circle. Yes, that's it. Perfectly round. Gilded and radiant. A perfect this circle. Is my next masterpiece. That will give this tale the true spirituality it needs. The key to divine, swoo, generous poetry. Uh, hello? Oh, Dunsany Hodgson Sutcliffe. <laughs> English? <laughs> if only the world knew that it was indeed the gilded perfect circle that bestowed you with your inspiration. This guy is so crackers. All right, I'm out of here. Perfect timing, Miss Naomi. The entire fate of the human race hangs in the balance and only you can save it. Um, bye. Halt! Right now, there is but one thing I need. The gilded perfect circle. Only that can free my fleshly vessel from the psychological despondency that currently plagues it <laughs> then and only then shall i return to my liter literary work so you're hungry <laughs> godspeed a gilded radiant beautiful perfectly circular food exists somewhere in this world and you must find it <laughs> okay you didn't say food up until now but you must have unconsciously added it without realizing it so you want me to buy lunch if you insist on simplifying things to a horrifying degree, then yes, your interpretation is Boy. accurate. But I don't want you to buy me just anything. I need a gilded, radiant, perfectly circular food. <laughs> oh my god. You can't just do someone a simple favour without asking them to do something for you in return? That's right. I refuse to entertain any request from another person unless they pro proffer which I seek in return. After all, my time is quite valuable. You ought to be thankful that I'm giving you a chance at all. You're a real piece of work, you know that? 
a food that's golden, shiny, beautiful and perfectly round. I guess the cafe is the first place I should look. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be uh, kind of a nightmare to uh, find, right? Oh my gosh. Oh uh, gosh, wait, it told me, wait, a golden full moon fried egg. Oh, okay. It actually like tells you what exactly you need. So that's actually, uh, that's really cool actually. That's good that it actually displays exactly what you need. I'm lost. I'm lost in the maze of this garden. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I'm so confused right now. I don't even know. Okay, let's have a little look here. So yeah, that's like my one objective. I still have, I thought there was like another location that I was supposed to go to. Do I not have to go there anymore? I'm kind of confused about that. Maybe it will like open back up like after we've done this part of the story. I honestly have no idea of right now. So not quite sure actually, but let's go and have a little look in this cafe. All right, let's see if we can buy something. William enslaved me. <laughs> <laughs> he did indeed. Okay, perhaps one of my golden full moon fried eggs would fit the bill. Alright, oh, but of course he's out of golden eggs. Okay, uh, how do I, do I have to get you it then, I guess? Okay, where where do I get that? I always get my golden eggs from Mrs. Jan. Is it from that little um, chicken that I found? <laughs> This is really starting to feel like an old, decrepit RPG. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now I have to go and collect a golden egg, apparently. Feels like Harvest Moon now, collecting golden eggs. <laughs> Which is awesome. Are you Jan? I've been looking for you. See, I thought I need your help, blah blah blah. I love how it just like skips well, uh... all that stuff. Aren't you just the sweetest little thing? So you've come all the way out here to see your Auntie Jan? I just really need a golden egg. Okie dokie, but before you go, how about trying one of my scony wonies? Just try one for me, love. Does she treat everyone like this? You're not my aunt, lady. Okay, I got a golden egg. Yay! This is a golden egg? Damn, it really does look like it's made out of gold. Isn't it simply darling? I knew you'd like it, my love. You're such a lucky ducky today. These golden eggies are quite rare, you know. Seriously? I love the way she talks. It's so cute. <laughs> Seriously? Wow, I feel super lucky. <laughs> Good not, one. not super lucky, super de duper lucky. Mrs. Jasmine is the only one who can lay these golden eggies. She only lays them on the two days around a full moon and a new moon. Well, super rare. That's right. So don't go thinking your auntie here is carrying golden eggies on her every day on on her every day of the week even the two days around a full moon and a new moon those are the only days you'll be able to get one so that seems really hard <laughs> um i wonder if you can go and collect them and stuff like if you go to the chicken on those days where did you find such a rare bird that's a secret obviously i'm just pulling your leg i first met miss jasmine deep in the northern mountains the mountains up north are chilly willy and there's an old old mine nestled deep inside them once i went deep inside the old mine as far as i could go until i hit a dead end and that's where you met mrs jasmine you sure are clever deep inside that mine i found another stonehenge and then a big huge vine I don't like where this is going. And then I climbed up and this is like Jack in the Beanstalk. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> mayday, mayday. <laughs> it was so big, gargantuan even, and so shiny. So basically, you aren't going to tell me where you met Mrs. Actually, Jasmine. <laughs> they got it from the, from the top of the Beanstalk. God. <laughs> that was a true story just now, my love. Just don't quote me on it. <laughs> I knew it. She's absolutely clueless. <laughs> What a crazy lady. I love the characters in this game. They're so weird. <laughs> I love that so much. Okay, so now we have to go and order this thing from this guy. All right, feed me. I need a golden egg. Just bring us the ingredients and I'll fry you up the most delicious eggs you've ever tasted. Okay, here you go, my friend. All right, now I can finally make you a golden full moon fried egg. Wait right here, I'll be back in a jiffy. Thanks man, I'm counting on you. Alrighty, awesome. Wow, he really is a pro. Sorry to keep you waiting, miss. Are you done already? 
All right, one last thing. This must be eaten while it's hot or it will go to waste. Yeah. Oh, so that means I have to like go like really quick before it gets cold. So I have to, of course. Oh wait, no, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> I tried to eat it. <laughs> Got to keep a tight leash on that ravenous stomach of mine. <laughs> Indeed. All right, let's pick this up and we gotta run all the way to this guy. I can't even run. I have to walk all the way. <laughs> so that sucks. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way, I think. I think I gotta go this way, I think. Yeah, I think it's this way. So let's go. How long does this thing stay hot for? Like, I don't know how long this is exactly gonna last. I've got no idea. Maybe I should have put it in my bag. Do you think that would have kept it warm faster? I honestly don't know if that's a thing you can do. I've got no idea, but it's just up here. So hopefully we will make it in time <laughs> that would be great but we'll just have to we'll just have to see right all right naomi you got this girl you got this all right let's keep going is it okay is it still okay is our dish still okay i hope so oh no the stamina is making this slower and i don't know how long this thing is gonna stay warm <laughs> hopefully it'll be okay i'm like a delivery person <laughs> giving takeaway to people <laughs> oh my gosh you better pay me for this man <laughs> all right let's see if it's good enough for him hey ego here's the golden radiant beautiful perfectly round food you were asking for and it's even piping hot yay i did it hello are you happy hello a perfect circle this is it it's perfect Gilded and radiant, perfectly round the hero's journey, a pathway to the stars. I love his eyes, he's so crazy. A tale spun by the human race since the dawn of time, the fantastic story of the infinite, never-ending circle. Hello? Oh, Dunsay Hodgson Sutcliffe, I've always known it was indeed the gilded perfect circle that bestowed you with your inspiration. <laughs> he's so weird. I'm leaving now. Oh, you've done it. You've finally done it. Whatever, as long as you're satisfied. Okay, can't you see it? This perfect circle is guiding us to the truth. From the far north reaches of Siberia to the southern to the southern edges of Antarctica, the essence of the story of the human race. Wait, uh, what? A basic unadulterated circle, the very essence of truth. It is both the first step and the very final step. How did I never see it until now? My pretty young sister's eyes and the wheels of her wheelchair, both perfect circles. This <laughs> what? This is so ridiculous. My inspiration is burning me up inside. This hellhole just never quits. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Does this ever stop going on and on? How long do I have to listen to this low-rent author toot his own horn? If there's a hell, I'm in it. Ugh, I made sure the food was still hot, too. Eating food before it goes cold is the polite thing to do, right? Is she gonna eat it? All right, I'm taking a bite. Oh no. <laughs> Just a little one. This isn't gonna go down well. <laughs> Holy crap. It's so good. What the hell? Something feels weird. Thusly, and therefore... He's still at it. He's not even the dogs can take it. Sounds like that dog's really far away. I smell something too. It almost smells like... Roses? I didn't smell anything a moment ago. What the hell? Now it feels like my body's super light. Holy crap, I... I need to run. I feel like I want to run a whole marathon. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it. A little run can't hurt, right? <laughs> I feel so light. Whoa. 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 Am I turning into a dog? <gasps> yeah. I've turned into a doggo. Oh, I'm so happy. I really wanted to turn into a dog. So that is amazing. It's so cool that the the prologue of this game lets you try both the cat and the dog. Very, very cool indeed. 
Obviously, once Naomi turned into a dog, she lost the ability to speak. Seeing as we don't want to hold the story up, I'll translate for you this time. How very kind. <laughs> hmm, yes, I see. Huh? Now I turned into a damn dog? God damn hellhole. Do we really need this translation, though? Hmm, <laughs> right. Hey, that's the handkerchief Elizabeth gave me. I must have dropped it while I was running around back there. Wait, maybe this is my chance. Now that I'm a dog, I can pick up a scent from this handkerchief. I can finally catch up with Elizabeth now. <coughs> Booyah! Time to blow this popsicle stand. Oh yeah, awesome. Now we can actually catch up. Couldn't we do that with the cat though? But I don't know. Okay, so we can memorize different scents as the dog. So cool. Dogs fang courage. Proof that you've acquired the courage of a dog allows you to transform into a dog whenever you want. So, so cool. All right. All right then, let's go and explore then. So um, now we can, you know, memorize the scent of this. How do we do it exactly? So just, just the same as the cat, I guess. So that's cool. Now we've memorized the scent. I memorized Elizabeth's scent. I know that sounds kind of perverted, but now's not the time to worry about that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Sounds like a great idea, Naomi. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I've got the handkerchief. Is it still in my dog's mouth? No? Okay, so we just follow the little green little things. I really like this game. Actually, it's definitely grown on me the more I've played it. <laughs> so cool. Okay, uh, I think that this demo is really... Um, generous with the amount that it lets you play because my god we've managed to play quite a bit actually so definitely very generous okay so lt to activate animal vision okay cool all right so we can kind of follow all of these oh, okay it kind of tells you which scent is the one we're looking for so that's helpful because not all of these scents might be the ones we're looking for right so makes a lot of scent a lot of scent <laughs> a lot of sense even <laughs> oh my gosh okay which way do we go no not that way this way we'll keep going down this way see if we can find it oh it kind of veers off okay wait a sec what does she like go around in a in the circle or something it's confusing do i have to go this way okay looks like she went this way let's have a look okay let's have a look here does she go down there okay no. i think the dog like barking is slightly annoying <laughs> every single time but that's okay all right did she go down to the left it looks like she did so we gotta follow the trail down this way cool okay i kind of like this like little mini game thing that they've got going on here wait did she go up this way i think she did she did go up this way okay cool hopefully we'll find her what a pain in the butt it is to find this lady i swear <laughs> okay let's have a look should we go straight up where does this go nope not that way is that a gnome we've got a creepy little gnome just waiting over over there for us how creepy <laughs> okay then let's see where this leads us this leads up this way okay let's go see if we can find her all right awesome i love playing as the dog so just like the cat we got a, a jump button a like uh, attack button a bark button Oh, the hot words have been updated for today, so that's cool. But yeah, it's very similar, plays very similar to the cat, but of course has slight variations to it. Oh no, the badger. Can we fight it? Oh my gosh, pick X to fight. Oh my god, we can fight stuff. <laughs> that's so cool. It depends, your power varies depending on what form you're in. It'll be easier for you to follow small fast animals as a cat and you deal massive damage as a dog. Okay, that makes sense. If you can't seem to take down an opponent in human form, transfer them into a cat or a dog. Okay, this is really cool. We had to do some animal fights as well. Let's attack this uh, this uh, horrible 
thing. I like the music. <laughs> it didn't last very long. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do this. I feel kind of evil. Okay, the music's back. That's weird. <laughs> okay, I've got some badger meat. Very, very cool indeed. Let's continue and see where this leads. Okay, am I going the right way? I'm not sure if I'm going the right way, actually. No, I think it was... Back this way. I don't even know. I've lost the the direction I was heading in, but I think it was this way, right? I think. No way. No way. Because there's like little markers back there, so it must have been the other way. <laughs> I got totally like disorientated about which way I was facing. That's okay. I think we've got it now. I think it's definitely this way. So we'll head down here and we'll see what happens. What a weird game, but just like so many cool things are happening here all at once I wasn't quite sure how it would work with so many different like themes just mashed into one but I like it it's unique oh my god is that her wheelchair what happened oh no did she fall over wait is she walking there's footprints did somebody take her oh no that's Elizabeth's wheelchair what she could be what could she be doing out here I have no clue and what are those glowing things footprints I think so. Is it time to be a private investigator for sure? Oh crap, I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. Me too, me too. Okay, let's have a little look here. Got an urgent quest here. Of course it is, of course it's urgent. Follow the glowing footprints. Okay, at least they're easy to see, so that's great because now it's raining and that could be kind of hard to spot throughout the rain. Oh, a chestnut little thing. Okay, I think it's a mushroom, right? Or something. All right, so up this way. Let's see. Gosh, this person really like went like in a really weird direction. <laughs> you know, he keeps like turning and stuff, trying to get me off his trail. Oh God. Oh no, that does not look good. Did you see? Oh no, this looks bad. Who could have done such a thing in the happiest town in the world? Why would you stab her? I know she's creepy, but dude, now she looks even creepier. Can you imagine how her brother's going to react to that? This is why I hate the shitty countryside. Happiest town in the world, my ass. This place really is... God damn hell Oh my gosh, take a picture of the murder scene that could serve as evidence. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Oh no, I dread to think what her brother will say when um, he sees this. Calm down, just calm down, Naomi. The murder rate in New York's gone down a lot recently, but there are still around 300 cases per year. I wonder if that's accurate. I should be used to seeing hacked up, mutilated corpses. I grew on the streets. This shouldn't bother me. Oh, who am I kidding? I've never seen a real dead body before. Oh no, oh no, I think I'm gonna puke. Oh, now what am I gonna do? Who should I call? Wait, hold on a minute. Does this mean I'm the first one to find her? Am I gonna be a suspect now? Oh no, you probably would be, right? Hey, you! Wait! Are you the one who killed Elizabeth? Oh, no. I feel really sleepy. No, not now. Damn it. Is she gonna transform, like, right now? Oh my gosh, <laughs> what bad timing, oh no. Photo evidence one, okay. Uh, photo evidence of the murder that occurred in Rainy Woods. I thought I'd caught the killer as they were escaping, but all I got was some weird lens flare. Oh, that sucks. If only, if only you would have got, like, a clear image of that. That would have been really good. So we completed the demo. Oh my god, what a demo it was. That was very very lengthy and definitely let us explore like every avenue of the game so I definitely know what to expect when this game comes out and I'm so excited for that actually so yeah that was really cool I didn't quite get to finish like all of the side objectives but it's fine I'll definitely like try to make sure to do that like in the the full release because I did miss a couple of things but yeah that was that was really cool that was awesome but yeah longer than I was expecting but I had a lot of fun with that and I'm looking forward to the full release of the game. 
thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel thank you so much I really appreciate it and if you are interested in donating there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page alternatively you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel thank you so much for watching please comment rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time